everyone agrees that pugs are cute. But honestly, pugs aren't cute. That's why I wish it to pugs because it's cute. Alright. So who would like to recap what happened last time? Um, we were in a long water tunnel, basically. Uh, probably at this point south of Waterdeep. We were led to the tunnel entrance. We went through the tunnel entrance. I got lightly fried without the extra spices. Yeah. Nope. Uh, we found out that, in all honesty, our bard has no HP. Yeah. Uh, he is a glass cannon, except he's not a cannon either. So he's, he's a, glass. a glass pistol. He's a glass. He's a glass pistol that he's only shoots blades. <laughs> Casey, what do you call boomerang that doesn't come back? No, I, I, my wife. A stick. <laughs> True. And that's about it. I'm the pretty glass thing we give landed, to someone to make them We light. went to a door. Uh, we dig around the door. The door was trapped. There's some problems. We are through the door, and I think we stopped right there. Yep. There is some sort of something happening. Because you like to end on cliffhanger. It was like 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, that's alright. <laughs> I wasn't complaining. You just ended on cliffhanger. Which is fun. It gives something to do. Yeah. Which is worry all week. <laughs> That was only when we killed you on your birthday session. Yeah, that was lame. I was supposed to get gauntlets of ogre power yeah. or a headband of intellect. Uh, I don't, I want I don't believe I agree to any of that. Well, I mean, I just wanted it, so um, yeah, fair enough. Um, today is a special happy birthday session for Todd, even though he's not wearing the crown because it would block the camera. So it's, a, it's allowed. It's now Casey's birthday, too. It's now Casey's birthday, too. Casey totally fits the title gay boy better, though. I mean, birthday boy. Whatever. No, no, that's Gabe's title. Hey, boy. Okay. All right. So as you guys look into this room, there's a small ten foot corridor before opening into a larger chamber with four exits: two on the left hand side, one in front of you, and one off to the right. What would you guys like to do? Roll this die. Um, I am going to take that <laughs> and um, roll a survival check. So I got a nineteen to see if I can find any signs of. Like tunnels or whatever, <laughs> like any signs that one of these out these passageways have actually seen um, traffic of any kind. Um, make a perception check with a non-spin down die. What is that? That is that is not a proper die. <laughs> oh, what's it do? That's a that's a spin down die for magic. What does it do? It so it goes from life. one all the way up to twenty in the spiral. That is not randomized at all. Oh, and yet, okay. and yet, Joe has managed <laughs> to get screwed twice. <laughs> All right, that's funny. Um, that's how you roll. All right, uh, perception, you said? Yep. Oh, oh, oh well, ten. Oh wait, that's a twenty. <laughs> uh, ten? Yeah, I don't have perception. That's why I was using my survival, which can also find tracks. Um, where's the other thing? Oh no, that's literally the floor. That's a totally different game. It's totally a different game. Floor. If, well, come on, three and three point five are totally different. Yeah, just a little bit. Oh, I should probably get the Twitch chat up just in case. We love you, Twitch chat. We're not ignoring you. Mwah. Well, we're sort of ignoring them. Well, yeah, but we're not doing it on purpose. Yeah. I did really good with my uh, wizard hit dice. I track. I keep track of. Who remembers on critical roll when? Uh, and that one guy, for advertising, took a bunch of different foods and put whipped cream on yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> that was recent, actually. That was hilarious. It was great. It was amazing. It's, it's just like, with Cheetos, better. <laughs> <laughs> with pizza, not better. Oh, man. <laughs> it depends on the pizza. Yeah, but he yeah. did it twice, and he's just like, hold on. You guys. Better. <laughs> That's what it was. Initially, uh, it was the Ranger. Again. The, uh, the UA Ranger took away the Natural Explorer limitation. So now, like, Natural Explorer just applies. Mm -hmm. So that's advantage on. Yeah, it sounds like you're just trying to make a character overpowered. Like no, because we were talking about. Oh, this. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. he pointed it out to me. Yeah, yeah, I like your story. That was so pissed off. Oh, and you want to? You know what's even better? Just that's to make you thing. happy. Like on so my weird. first turn during combat, I have advantage on attack rolls against creatures that have not yet acted. So yes, I'll have advantage just because I said so. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
This is your class. <laughs> uh, the UA Ranger makes Ranger fun to play against. Because it's honestly, not it, it, broken. It, no, it's balanced against the actual player handbook character. But uh, the Ranger in the player handbook is just gimp. You either play a hunter or yeah, even more gimp than me. Uh, so you, what was your perception check? Ten. Yeah. Ten. Um. Yeah. You just see the, the, f- the four hallways leading out. Uh, uh, can I? Me- I want to do. A okay, everything I is. Well. Every, all all the stone is. It's nice. not like rough stonework. It is polished stone. So. It is deliberate in here. Oh. The way I view it is right. Ooh. The way to go, right? Ooh. It's uh, the no, next, no, no, it's, it's a rule of one. luck. Actually. Um. I say let the metal Care. human go whatever direction the metal human wants to go. But right is right. I'm going to try to learn how to tap dance. Sure. Metal human, pick a path. Do you even know right? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Because you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I go towards the farthest right tunnel. Wait, okay. Didn't you say you were dead? Hold on. So. Oh, yeah, you're dead. <laughs> I was messing around and trolling. Um, so, you're you out to, him, to the right you tunnel. Travel about 15 feet before this opens up into another room. Um, it's just a, a semi-large circular room with um, like small little alcoves, kind of like up above. Yeah, I told you right was the right way. Can you see into the alcove? They're a good 30 feet up. I'm gonna um, pull out my bow and arrow. I'm gonna notch an arrow, remembering the stupid spiky things that hurt us real bad. Just kind of looking up, like, does anybody have flies? Yeah, you can cast it. Throw that one. <laughs> no. I'm Ooh. too cute. I'm too cute to fly. I mean, it is everybody's due diligence. Wait, you're. That one hasn't flown yet. Part, I'm new to the party. You're part goat. You should be able to get up there. Goats can climb up a 90 degree per, uh, surface. Oh, I am. <laughs> you just failed your intelligence check in real life. <laughs> I need to find a good name for this dragon. Is there any sort of opening? Like, uh, other than the alcoves? Like a door? Nope, not that you can see. Uh, Metal Fantasy name. Can, can you yeah. put an arrow with a rope on it into the wall? Like, near one of the alcoves. Like, I, I'm just wondering what's in there. I think that'd be a try. So I'm gonna wrap a, a piece of... some song up. I want you to gently, like it's got to be a softball toss, okay? This little but guy I mean, is a four minute. Put him in the alcove. I mean, he's gonna like chuck him at us. No, he won't. Bring him back. He's a very, he's a very loving person. No, he won't. Yeah, don't. No, I won't. Just gently so, toss the monkey. I will make a dexterity check for me. Well, he's not good at that. Yeah, no. The monkey has his own dexterity. Just in case Ooh. it needs to uh, do an extra. That's a dexterity saving throw for Son of Wukong. That's a six. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> dexterity saving throw for Son of Wukong. He did. Uh, I'm pretty oh. sure it's a four. Okay. Well, um, I, I imagine he actually had proficiency in that save, so it would be a five. <laughs> <laughs> so as you go to gently like lift, like throw Son of Wukong into one of the small alcoves, oh, you don't know your own strength. Um... So Mukong will take <laughs> it doesn't matter. You five points of bludgeoning damage. You right. just see a puff. Sit <laughs> <laughs> down, I'm gonna pull out my charcoal, and I'm gonna rub my monkey. Sorry, I don't do gently. Alright, so you're gonna spend ten minutes rubbing your monkey. Uh, yeah, and then I'm gonna try to work with this one to devise a way to see into the elbows. What? Okay. Um, I, we were gonna go with the rope and the arrow. So I'm going to tie a uh, piece of rope to my arrow. And All right. Dexterity check. Will you tie your, arrow, your rope to your arrow? Is this a straight dexterity yep. check on safe? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. It's the same, same thing usually happens. Uh, five. Or nine. Nine? Nine. Okay. So you take, you shoot your arrow, stick to the wall. The rope falls back to your hand. Oh, by the way, this is not my player's handbook. The one I was talking about where there's the rip, there's a thing or whatever. Where I, like, when did that happen to my book? Well, it never happened to my book. This is actually not mine. I, I wonder if that's Slater's. I didn't think he, I didn't know if he even had one. But that's not mine. Oh. I 
I'll say, because mine is all sticker. Well, that so. means Slater would have yours. No, um, I have all mine. Oh, so you have your book? Say again? You have your book? Yeah, I do. Plus, I got oh. a new one, because uh, Todd is epic. Okay, uh, I'll try again. Although, that sucks, because okay. you know, I didn't get you anything for your birthday, and now I feel like a dick. No, no, that's fine. Yeah, I definitely think tie it better. Can I try one more time? I'll allow one more time. Oh, 17 plus 5. Okay, so. I feel like the third time's a charm for this. Alright. And so, I... right next to the other arrow, stuck in the wall, sticks. Alright. Up you go, I'm counting on you. You just you hold it, you hold it. Hold what? Hold the rope? Why? Does it reach the floor? No, 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 we should be yeah. there. Catch okay. I will stand beneath. Put my foot on the rope so it's taut, and I will stand there beneath you like this. Wait for you to fall. Okay. I'm gonna start climbing. Okay. Uh, athletic check. Looking at nothing right now. Clink. Oh, We've sweet. gone out of our. How efficient is that? Seventeen. Seventeen? Yeah. All right. So easy enough. You get to the top. Uh, and look in the alcove. You don't see anything in it. Nothing here. You look in the other ones. There's nothing in any of them. Oh, okay. I may have been wrong. About what? I'm gonna right retrieve right. my other arrow. Mm -hmm. Is there another way out of here? Quiver. Not this one, no. Go okay. down. Oh, that's alright. We'll Nothing you guys can see. And then, well, yeah. that doesn't make any sense because this is the room Grab on the other side of the giant door. Nice. So why would there be a room on the other side of the giant door with no way? No, no, like, you guys come in and you kind of veered off to the right. So we can go back to a different tunnel. I remember, we're really sitting You gotta wait like five more minutes. Yeah, right. still we'll, rub it we'll, we'll sit around for five minutes until he finishes that up and then continue on work. Oh, no, I didn't lose my monkey. Because as soon as the monkey went flying I and was clearly going to fall, I took it out of existence. Mm -hmm. make totally tell. doable. Make, a, make an intelligence check. Totally doable. <laughs> yeah, it's like... It, Actually, you can't do it as a reaction. I, I didn't need to do it as a reaction. It it's just, instantaneous. Uh, wh while, as an, oh, as an action, yeah. you can... But, like, if everyone's taking an action, I will hold my action to Your save my monkey. Your action is hands on my, over. You know what, dude? Come on. You are <laughs> you are overusing what is action. At that point, it's my action to walk. <laughs> my intelligence check, uh, like, that'd be Arcana, right? Yeah. yeah. 15? No, straight intelligence. Oh, uh, 12? 12? Okay, you were just able to get some Wukong out of there before he splatted. Nice. When I bring him back, he flips me the bird. Yep. I'm just gonna leave him hidden for now. What's our passive perception? Love. You really put him in. Ten. I saw nothing. <laughs> Thirteen. Fifteen. Yeah. The snake didn't see it. We're bone. Let's go. Uh, let's go back to the room. Yeah, no. let's go to the big door. Yeah, no. I really miss you know that. Why can't scene? I ask what your passive hey, perception? Listen. Hey, listen, you guys. This is not a dead end. This is not a dead end. You're a dead end. This is not... You're getting rid of Aaron. Yeah, I don't care. That's fine. Um, I will... Investigation. Yes. All right, what wall am I punching? Daddy, I will investigate, yes. Here. I will investigate wholeheartedly the alcove. Daddy, sorry, Daddy. The alcove? Okay. How are you getting up there? Um, I will... No, so I was in bed. Daddy, how high up there? Yeah, how high up are they? 30 feet. 30 feet? Daddy, 30 feet? Daddy, 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 It's past your bedtime. Acrobatics off of the shoulders of the Why you have a giant. Okay, yeah, I'll allow it. All right, I'll activate the song first. Do you want to know why? Because it's Todd's birthday. Today. <laughs> it is. It's, well, it's Todd's birthday was Wednesday. Oh, but this is a special birthday session that. for him. It was gonna be a twenty, but it, so I got a sixteen. I thought you got advantage. I do. I had sixteen and two, but like it was twenty and then rolled off my finger. Sixteen uh, plus four, uh, unnatural twenty. Okay, yeah. So you climb up the war forge, you jump off him, hang out in the alcove. Mm. You can see into one of them. All right, I will investigate it. Okay, make an investigation check. Twenty-four, seven, seven. Yeah, twenty-four. It's a normal alcove. All right. Is there anything Catching. besides the alcove to stick out? No, not really. Make an investigation check. He's gonna catch him. Why would you trust him? That's an eight. 
That's not you're not allowed to use that one. That's the one we Oh, sorry. I didn't see that. Yeah. Um, so that is a Oh. Just a normal room. Nothing on yeah, there. Not this one. Okay. Let's leave and then someone throw something explosive back into the room. Anyone have anything explosive? We had an explosive expert. Wait. Do we have any more flour? Let's leave. The kobolds had it all. Damn it. Oh, man, when that dragon ate you, it blew wasn't up in his mouth. <laughs> it was all. <laughs> it was in smoke. Quit banging the it wall. Was flour. My bad. All right, so you guys leave that room? Head back to the main chamber? It's a really yeah. mean thing to call my wife. All right. Which hall do you want to go down? You have three other hallways. The next great one. The next right one? The rule of right. Alright, who's leading the charge? Always the metal guy. Okay. Um, this you is have about a 60 left, foot though. hallway down before it opens up into another room. Except charge. Well, don't charge because then I can't keep up and I'm not breaking a sweat for you. So why don't you walk, metal with me? Happy birthday. It's Todd's Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Can't you just wear the hat? I just said happy birthday. Did I, I say a name? I just wanted Ooh, to do like a name out. Yeah. Shit. You did not. Holy cannoli. I just didn't want you to think it was Casey's birthday. Because Casey's wearing Todd's crown. You told me you had liked her before. I think they can't. Did you not? I did. Okay. So yeah. rude. So rude. See, this Sorry, is why he gets in trouble. He cuts me off every time. Anyway, just, I'm going to get back. Okay. If I try. Investigation of the room is a 17. You're going into the room? Yes. Okay, first I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh my god. Because as you're walking down this corridor, Poison. the floor releases beneath you. Oh, it's a pit trap. And you fall 40 feet into a spiked pit trap. You know what's really underused in D&D? Pit traps? Traps. In general. I figured it's been a while since I gave you guys some traps, so why not? And well, 5e also took away basically any good way for a rogue to find traps. You take 13 points of bludgeoning damage, damage cells, okay. just in the and 10 points of piercing damage, damage of as points. you land on the spikes. So really the only way you can, like, like, I could cast Mage Hand and have it patting the floor and patting the walls, but like, you know, it's just not going to work. We could have a player's character doing generic dex rolls with this, what is it? Thieves' tools? Is that how they find traps? Sleight of hand. Sleight of hand? Is well, that it would be investigation to try and find the traps. Yeah. Oh. It would be thieves' tools to try and, depending on the, what type of trap it is, to it would be... Uh, so, from now on, obviously. because it's Brandon, you're not investigating the room, you're investigating the hallway. And then you'll go to the room. So that's how we need to do it. Because we're awful people. So he's down in the pit trap. Yeah. Uh, that's like 40 tens worth of damage. Right? It was 40 feet? 46. 46 worth of damage, he's fine. Just climb back out. He's down. Metal human. Are you actually down down? No. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Metal but human, is there anything down there? It's 40 the crown's feet down, down there. there. <laughs> Todd's crown is down there. It's 40 feet down. He's not going to get out of uh, that That's okay. Is there oh. anything down there? I I'm going to start playing the climb. <laughs> and, it's the climb! And uh, give him inspiration. I'm going to first look down here see if there's anything other than spikes and make a perception check. Death. Spikes and death. Uh, Melodary will flutter down in a circle. That is a unnatural twenty. Okay. Um, there are a bunch of other bones in here. Spikes and death. Um, yeah, and it could be good stuff. You see some glitter. Uh, glittery death. You get about five platinum, twenty golden. See, always check. Also, those bones when they're ground no. up. Are <laughs> Is it made out of you? Did you poop yourself when you fell? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when he got stabbed. <laughs> oh, wait. No, because the stabs would have created holes in his body. So and we would have been able to find the chest. That was stabbed. That Like, all the money that was put in him. It's just out. <laughs> out. We it's all need to get another one of the, uh, the arcane orb thing. I will put it into my bag and attempt to climb out of here. Okay, make a athletic check. My dragon lands on her head. On his head. Mm, don't use that one, that one. Yeah, I'm not going to use it on that one. Uh, I am going to immediately attempt again. Yeah, he got a net one. Yeah, so you finally get yourself off the spike, and 
No, go ahead and make another level check to try and climb up. So they found the platinum one still impaled. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> Look, just what because is, he's a robot. What is Eddie and Olaf? Oh, I've been impaled. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've been impaled. I love it. He walked into it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, look. He's the best character. Uh, athletics? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, that is a 15. A 15? Yes. Great. Yeah. Okay, so you're able to climb out finally on the other side of this pit trap. Where the oh. three of you guys are. Wait, on the other it. side? Yeah, I'm on the other side. How big is the trap? 10 feet by 10 feet. Mm-hmm. I'm going to attempt to jump across. Okay. You can. You can jump 10 feet. What is it? A running jump is double your movement. Half what? your movement. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say half the movement. Uh, what is the rule for jump? Uh, what is your roll? 17. You're fine. Uh, you easily <laughs> make it off to the other side of the... Uh, the pit trap, uh, avoiding the outstretched four forge arm, arms. I'm going to Kinda put Sun Wukong in a. It's an easy jump. I think they I can make a like Todd. You know the whatever it is, the, the yeah, hidden space yeah. that he goes into, mm-hmm. right? And I'm going to have uh, Melodair fly over, um, and then I am going to. Uh, what is it? Athletics or acrobatics? Or acrobatics, either. Fourteen. Yeah, you jump across easily. No, the other side. You only need a ten. Mm-hmm. Slam. Running jump. Quadrupeds don't jump well. So good luck, sheep. Okay. Wooly human. <laughs> you've already you've already said that you you're declaring. Oh yeah, as a I will person. call you lamb. But technically, I'm calling you lame when I say woolly human. <laughs> so, I just start humming ba ba black sheep. <laughs> Fluffy human? I oh. mean ba ba red sheep. Oh no, that's a nice. Yeah, I'm good. I thought it was a one. Yeah, hey, you usually jump over. Everyone is on the other side of the pit trap. Cool. All right, now, now look. Another 30 feet, you go into the next room. Um, looking around, there are another three exits, and in the middle is a large sarcophagus. We should not open it. Mage hands. I knock on it. <laughs> I mean, knock on it. No response. Okay. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Come gonna... on, like, look, if we just look for the trap first, sarcophagus means sleep. Well, no, I was going to see if there's any writing on it. Because it oh, might yeah. give us a clue. I'm going to walk up to this area. What's that? Make a perception Where we put dead people. Or it's where the humans put dead humans. People, of course, are burned so that they can become trees. My people are eating. 25? 25? Um, Your people reading good reading the uh, inscriptions on the side, it says, Here lies the founder of Waterdeep. Founder? Oh, open That's that. a what? really, really old sarcophagus. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Yeah, this is the founder of Waterdeep. Hey, uh, yeah, so, but here's what I'm going to do. All right, I'm going to go to the mouth of the tunnel that we just exited, mm-hmm. right? And I'm going to be, you said it's the center of the sarcophagus mm-hmm. is in the room, 30 feet away? The dead center of the room, uh, yeah, about 30 feet away from where okay. you guys came in. I will stay right there. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm going to tell you, though, because I heard your question. Um, we put our dead humans and things with heavy lids because they have a bad habit of coming back to life and eating things. It is a little uh, awkward. Yeah, so let me, when it's your mom, let you me just say out of, out of character, though, guys. We spent months in the last campaign looking for this guy. Did and we, we never found him. No, this is not Dagult Never Ember. Or Dagult Never Ember. This is not him. Oh. The founder of Waterdeep. Yeah, Never Ember was. Well, just an open lord. Never Ember was just an open lord of Waterdeep. Yeah. You push the sarcophagus open and the lid buzz to the other side and you look in and you see this skeleton. I bring you notch and arrow. Really? Yeah. That's bad. Because if there's still a skeleton there, that's actually bad. This thing's like a 
two thousand years. Which old. is actually about to prove what I said right. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, and as you look at it and you see the head of the skeleton separate from the rest of the body, and it, out from it grows these orange amorphous Daddy. arms. I need everyone to roll initiative. That's both fine. Huh? Mommy wants two. Mommy wants two? Yeah. Glad I have initiative or advantage on initiative. Is mommy super cold? Got it? I love you, sweet dreams. <laughs> hey, I ignore difficult terrain, and difficult terrain does not slow my group. That's useless. Oh, yeah. yeah, when was the last time we were in difficult terrain? Like once in the last campaign? Once in a year and a half it happened. Uh, technically the... Uh, oh! The spirit guardians is... Your group can't become lost except by magical means. So what they were doing in the tunnels actually works on us. <laughs> oh, here's this. Even when you are engaged in another activity while traveling, you remain alert to danger. Okay. Uh, you do, yes, not the rest of your party. 25-20. Um, 20. I know. It's a 19. <laughs> I have a 22. <laughs> 22 or a 20? A 20 as well, sorry. I will let you go before me just because of the rarity. <laughs> Todd, what did you get? 29. <laughs> you have the alert feed or something? You douche. <laughs> 29. Crap, why can't I remember your character's name? Uh, Jekyll. It doesn't matter. Jekyll, that's right. Oh, are you killing yourself? No, no. And Lamb, what was yours? 13. All right. He can point it, like, I'll name my character Todd, I don't care. Damn. And we need butt. I am pretty certain. Super weenie hut. It, uh, because you're going to be the party leader, like out of the cousins of Dave, you need to be. Uh, so you need to be a direct hit. You you should play Dave the sixth. Okay. Jekyll, you're up first. You don't see this creature yet. Um. I will hold my action until something happens. Okay. Um, Scamos, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw, please, at the start of your turn. Bye. Good not fighting against you. <laughs> uh, that is a ten. You are now frightened for one minute. Oh shit! Disadvantage so on your attack. Disadvantage. Yep. Disadvantage on your attack. And you cannot move. But you know, I was so mad like that. It's a good thing he's already. It's a good thing he's already right next to it. Otherwise, that would suck. We just turned away our one melee dude. <laughs> Stop playing tricky with me. Like oh wait, no, you're not afraid of it yet. I'm sorry, it's at the start of the creature turn. So you, you're your character normal right now. Okay. But I will say due to the, what what kind of weapon are you brandishing? Great sword? Yes. It will still be disadvantage because it's not, you won't be able to like, get it full, your sword fully there to try and hit, you know what I mean? Just due to the way the sarcophagus is, and where the creature is, it would be disadvantage to try and hit it. Make sense? Yes. Okay. You still have not Oh, but I very may well do. Still holding my breath because I did that before. But then you'll eat the most poison trap. Yep. I'm going to attempt to stab it. First of all, that is nice. You held your breath in case it's poison. Brilliant. Because you don't have to breathe. That's awesome. War forces are also. Oh wait, no. Well, you're disadvantaged, sir. Oh, you. That is disadvantage. What's your total? Uh, that is a seven. That Roll unfortunately that misses. Roll that D on oh, no, As you no. go to swing at it, it kind of your sword kind of tings off of the sarcophagus. Anything else? Bonus action versus not crit. Okay. Bam. You say the natural two. You ugly, stupid thing. For three points. I had an ogre. Uh, I gave it max HP, which is 91. Okay. Uh, died to one point of damage at the very end. 90 uh, to 91 damage. Ardalan, you're up. I will activate the song. Okay. Move 20 feet forward. Mm -hmm. I am going to uh, have Sun Wukong throw poo at it. Okay. I never hit Sun Wukong, so Sun Wukong is just growing regularly, which is good. Sun Wukong got a four. A four? A four. Definitely missed. Good. So now there's poo on the star card. <laughs> you also got a five to hide. <laughs> Sun Wukong is scared of this thing. Um, Rightfully so. Melodare will 
stay behind me for now because okay. I'm not close enough for her attack. And I will uh, swing a chain at it. Okay. <sighs> and it hasn't acted yet? Not yet. I have advantage. My first turn in combat. So, uh, 19 plus hits. Yeah, six. Okay. Any chance that this is a goblin? No. Okay. <laughs> no <None laughs> at all. I did six points of damage. I did two extra damage to goblin. Six points of damage? Six points of damage. Alrighty. Anything else? No, I'm ten feet away. Uh, Melodair and the monkey, and I'm done. Okay. Uh, Lamb, you're up. There's only four people here tonight. Thanks for economy, man. I'm just like saying because you really. You know, oh no, I roll, I roll shit for this creature. Just because it's a scary skull with amorphous tentacles doesn't mean it's bad. It just uh, means when it eventually hits you. Yeah, <laughs> <it's laughs> God, suck! <laughs> Is everyone in front of me right now? I'm not. I am. I'll say the only one not in front of you would be uh, Jekyll. He can shoot an arrow still. Well, yeah, I can't see it. Is the issue? It's you like, can move next to where he is to be able to see the spine. Yeah. Or just move farther off the side. You don't want to be ten feet away as an icon. Well, you can also hold your action till you can see it. Yeah. That's uh, what I did. Yeah. It's going to come like it's going to be coming. It's got to come out to eat this dude. Uh, as soon as it comes out, I'm, I'm gonna hold my. Action. You're gonna celebrate it, okay? Because it's 2020. As soon as it comes out, He's I'm going to start copying this. Yes. Uh, this is I'm mockery getting, on the internet. I'm going to use one. Seeking Air yeah. to hit it. Okay, make a tech one. No, no, when it comes out. Okay, okay. Alright, anything else? Uh, we, call uh, it, we call that a late state abortion. Alright. As this <laughs> as this creature comes out of the sarcophagus, the rest of you now see this creature. Uh, you two can do your actions. Seeking Air automatically. Uh, we've got to roll a uh, that is a 17 plus 1, so an 18. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he still takes damage, he just takes half. So seeking the arrow automatically doesn't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, 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 so six, nine, that'd be four points of damage. Alrighty. And I will feign him. Yeah! Okay. That fell for the bar. What is that, Sid? I believe it's charisma. charisma. That is a 17. Which one would he fail? It's a strength save. What? That would be Mark. What? The skull has a strength? What's it gonna do? Clack its jaws at you? I've said I said to said what it was, but what is it? That's it? Okay. Alright, so now that I can see all of you, I need everyone to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Uh, anyone get under 15. You are, you two are frightened of it. Sweet. That's actually really good for these guys. Yep. You don't move. Uh, and now it's going to use its corrupting gaze. Oh man, it's going to eat you. It's going to eat me. On Chase's character, Ace. I need you to make a Constitution saving throw. Hey, Jesus. is that like one of the? Oh no, because they gave Paladins wisdom and intelligence or something weird. Wisdom and charisma. Paladins saves are garbage. Sixteen. Sixteen. You succeed. Inspiration. <laughs> I'm gonna want inspiration. Oh, the D6. Oh, and it doesn't affect you at all then. Okay, cool. Um, Good to know. And now it is going to make uh, two slam attacks on you. Slam. First Come attack. On and slam. Misses. Let me smash. And welcome to the jam. Second attack is a 23 to hit. Uh, it does. All right, so you're going to take ooh, 13 points of bludgeoning damage. And here we are fighting something where there was supposed to be six of them. And 15 points of acid damage. Brandon the skew slater. To be fair, I'm there were supposed to be six of you. No, this is this is dumbed down for you guys. Still in English. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna bring us to Jekyll. It's your turn. Uh, uh, I'm gonna subtract a d4 for that hit. 
Ah, he's, he's not a bank. Uh, all right. Yeah, that's that's I will attempt another bank. Okay. That's an apple 10, so that's going to be an 11. That's bad. Yeah, he's bank. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's 14. That's easy. That's fail. fail. Okay. Uh, and I am going to look at Joe, Joe and play whip it. Uh, whip it. Yeah. Whip it real good. Yeah. And uh, inspiration to Joe. Okay. Scamos. Now Girl. everyone knows I've never played anything less than a caster. Because I was supposed to roll a d8 and a d6. <laughs> For what? For the damage. Which one didn't you roll? Both! I rolled a d6 and a d4. So you haven't rolled a d8. So you rolled a d4. And remember it next time. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I got. Got Half damage. <laughs> and I am not frightened by it. No, you're not. So I can normal hit it. Yes, you can. I cannot normal hit it. What's your total? Scum of 10. Yes. Will you just start hitting things with this um, giant sword of dish? Disruption. Top of the dryer is, I think, a couple things here. You're going to want to rewash them. This sword is, is, is going, going to like... abandon you. It's a sword of yeah. destruction? Is that what you're doing? Or you're well, going? I don't know, but you're going to get abandoned by that weapon. Uh, Ardalan, you're up. Ardalan is going to move. No. Did you make a save yeah. for your dragon? Uh, your, I your... actually said the dragon is behind me, and the monkey's in my hair behind my neck. Okay, so yeah, the dragon would not see that. Okay, so I'll allow it. Um... I like actually said that the monkey's gonna hide behind, or the uh, dragon's gonna hide behind, because I'm not close enough. But I'm actually going to stay, I think, the ten feet away. Uh, I am going to mirror image. Okay. And then I'm gonna swing my off hand. But it's a first level spell and I can't do that. Um, so I'll do mirror image. Um, yeah, you can't cast two spells, right? It's right. a spell and can't. Okay, yeah. That's why I want to play the red man. I'll do mirror image and then I will uh, I will move up to the creature. Mm -hmm. uh, and I will swing my offhand chain at it. Was it your action to mirror image? Mirror image. So you can't use bonus action. Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah. Uh, 20, unnatural. 20? Yeah, that hits. Six points of damage. Not a goblin? Are you sure? I've I seen one promise you this is not a goblin. Is Wait, it a human? This is called a sarcophagus slime. Wait, didn't you say you don't add your... Oh, I don't... I No, I do, because I have two weapon fighting. You're fighting? No, I'm a ranger level two gets a fighting style. I pick two weapon fighting. Oh. All right, so, Lamb, you're That's up. why I told you to take a level of fight. Or, to take... Never mind. You know what I mean. It was Bonjo who couldn't do it. Yeah. Uh, anyways. Same thing. Seeking arrow. Okay. What save is this? Text arrow. Uh, uh, yeah. I like how they're all cocked when they're low. Exactly. So it's plus the bane. Oh! Ah. Then that's going to be a nine. Woo! Okay. Eight Thank plus you for running. Seven. Fifteen. Fifteen? Fifteen. Alrighty. Anything else? Uh, no, that's my turn. Okay. You attack with disadvantage, right? Oh, it's seeking error. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, so next up is the sarcophagus slime. Um, the your dragon still can't see it technically. No, and uh, like I didn't bring out the dragon or the monkey. So it will do corrupting gaze on you, lamb. So I need a Constitution saving throw, please. Fighter, oh, sir, what you should strength and calm. Yeah. Or strength and calm. No. Your... The good thing is, we did just point out he tastes really good when he's cooked. Uh, you take 14 points of necrotic damage, and your hit point maximum is reduced by that amount. I got boo boo kitty pluck. He's been cured. 
<laughs> wait, wait. I'm not half health. No, but it wouldn't matter because you wouldn't be half health because your maximum is now 14 less two. <laughs> uh, and now you should get two. You move into melee range, right? Yeah. Bring it. So let's see here. Nope, it'll go for Casey still. Dang it! And I brought up mirror image to try and help. I don't need to roll the d4 for that one. I don't need to roll the d4 for that one. He gets to both attacks. Ah, ah, Jekyll, you're up. Metal human, you've done well. Um, sitting at one health. Just mockery? Are you really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Metal human, you can touch yourself. <laughs> Charisma saving throw for vicious mockery. Uh, wisdom. Wisdom. Okay. Go. No, that's a three minus one plus four. It's two points of damage. And uh, I will. Bane is so good. I will inspire. I couldn't think of a song. Uh, I'll. Uh, uh, hurt so good. There you go. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Make it hurt so good. So the, they're both inspired, right? Yeah. And you use yours. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, Scamos, you're up. Sarcophagus slimes taste good on bread. Do they? I don't no. know. We'll find out. There's only one way to find out French toast. <laughs> French toast slime. Are you gonna eat it? It's <laughs> <laughs> it's it's it. Yes. I've made a bite as, attack as Draven before. Yep. He could totally as a warforge. Andrew Lincoln famously ripped a man's throat out on The Walking Dead, and he was just a human with his teeth. The human jaw is one of the most powerful muscles. Recharge his poo, and he throws the poo. Will a 13 hit him? It will. Okay. It takes three poo damage. What kind of damage is your poo? Um, I think it's bludgeoning. Oh, okay. I'm going to say it's acid. I would say poison. I would it's say totally poison. poison. Have you seen what I fed this damn thing? No, no. Poison. I'll be poison. <laughs> I think it's bludgeoning. Uh, yeah. It's bludgeoning. Yeah. yeah. What next, Arlon? Um, the dragon. We'll horn him for a 18. Okay, hit. That's not a dragon, it's like a... No, sorry, it's a Kieran. Kieran, yeah. Uh, for 8 points of damage. Nice. Almost more than what the hunter human has done. Uh, <laughs> and then first whip, 9. Second whip, 15. Don't you feel like inspiration, or did you use it? Yeah, I didn't use it. But do you think, you know what, it's a d6, d8, d8. I'm going to d8 the 9. Okay. I'm going to date the 9. I'm pretty sure you what if I just roll two 4s? Where's my 8? Okay. Uh, 17. Yeah. For okay. the first hit. Okay. Both and hits. the second hit. Okay. So, uh, 5 and 8. No, 7, sorry. And I'm done. Still a lot of goblins? 5 and 7? Still a lot of goblins. Still a lot of goblins. All right. Randomly transforms into a goblin. Uh, Sun Wukong hides so for a nat 20. Is. What's the total? You never 22. Know. You don't auto, like, I thought a nat 20 is a nat 20. 
for skill. Well, he could still roll higher for perception. Because if two people roll a nat 20, uh, so he would have to get a nat, if he got a nat 20 and his perception is higher, mm -hmm. is that how that works? Like a nat yeah. 20 is really good. But yeah. And then the dragon is uh, going to just fly back up behind him. Um, Lamb, you're up. Oh, hold on. Uh, at the end of your guys' turn, make a wisdom saving throw. Not you. Not me? Not me. Oh, not me? Well, you two. Oh. Me? You, the frightened people. Oh. The frightened people. Uh, I got a... I got a 22. Seven. Alright, so you're clear. You get one more. Seven. Oh, me? Yep, I you get one more. You've taken two turns since he did the whole thing. 13. I'm pretty sure. Um, still. Still, still scared. Yeah, so attack with disadvantage. Oh, attack with disadvantage. Because you're frightened of it. Right. Uh, Full Slayer still loses. Level 20. Yep. 13. 13? That hits? Nice. Uh, and then I already rolled my damage. Especially Six for me, look at my weapon score. Mm. Seven. Seven. 13. 13? You oh, never know when you need zero. The, could be the way to turn the tide. Ooze. Splurts on the ground and like kind of like like, like drops some water on the ground. Just like <laughs> it's dead. Look it. You want to know how it tastes in a city? You want to know what it tastes like? I'm gonna retrieve my arrows. Plus the war forge. Uh, your arrows are disintegrated. Oh. Because uh, it, it is in a, it's a, it's a city based. Yeah, the war forge either have advantage on a, uh, on a poison. Looking in the sarcophagus, the the skeleton is still intact. Can I investigate the tomb? What are you looking for? Uh, loot, traps, okay. uh, the whole nine. So you're, you're, you're investigating the entire room? No, the, the tomb. Just, just the sarcophagus? Yeah, the... the okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, 23. Uh, check the sarcophagus. Um, hidden bottom sides, the whole nine. There's no hidden bottoms. The only thing that you see in here, though, is a, a belt with a bunch of butterflies designed on it. I'm going to pick up the belt, show everyone, uh, and then I'm going to sit down and cast Identify on it. Okay. Um, you're identified. Group names back up. Okay. You know what? I'm going to have to do it. We're on a special session. Could be a belt of gender swapping. I've always wondered what it is. <laughs> that was a real thing. Oh, let me try it. Nope, I'm going to put it on. Okay, you put it on the belt. Right. Your gender's already swapped enough, buddy. Oh, uh, shut up. It's actually my straight up sex. It's a... Mimic. Oh, that is awesome. Please, if it's a mimic, let it go for my liver, not my dick. I would <laughs> rather have it right. eat me from the inside so, out. what do you guys want to do? That's how we gender swap. I, I, <laughs> I'm going to do the belt of gender curve. It just ate the dude penis. <laughs> it's actually the belt of auto erotic asphyxia. <laughs> do you guys have issues? Uh, I'm gonna, I need your clitoris for over your check. Gonna dip dip a finger in the uh, <laughs> uh, in, in the ooze. No, he just said the arrows were destroyed by acid. You idiot! As you there goes the finger. Is it acid or was it poison? I thought it was, no, it was acid. You take sixteen points of acid oh, damage as you put your hand into the ooze. I thought it was. Poison. <laughs> Isn't that your what's your total? Like, wait, wait, <laughs> he's down. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> Hold on. He dropped Did you just oh. drop face first into the ass? <laughs> yeah. Can I grab him because I'm standing right there? I shouldn't have said it. He does not fall face first into the ass, okay. and yes, you are able to grab him. Hold on. I want to resuscitate him with my complete knowledge of how to fix And that people. dropped you? Well, no, I had 34 total. I had four. I, want to oh. Oh, I wow. thought it was poison because was, I'm immune to poison. No, it's so accident. I would just like Yeah. Good thing gonna... you never got it to your mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna try and resuscitate him. Oh, oh Nat 20! Okay. Um you have one hit point. Oh cool. Yay, but that's perfect. So using static electricity for my wool. Clear! <laughs> <laughs> that's a thing. Alright, recommendation. Yes. I sit down and take a short rest. Are we going to short rest here? Yeah, we're going to have to, do We can have to. I didn't I realize my guard. shots. Um, I can use our, I'll use Arcane Recovery to get my mirror image back, and then full guard. 
Um, also, remember on a short rest, you guys can use your hit die, mm -hmm. and now we have a second level bard who has Song of Rest, yep. which is an additional D6 of HP. And I will be playing Song of Rest. What's... By the way, I will pull guard, but I have a perception of zero, so... I have, I I have my D10, but don't quote me on that. D10 is a... Yeah. yeah. You uh, have four D10s, you can... My, my perception, I can keep guard. Um, Not if you're playing Song of Rest, right? Well, I can, I can play it. Oh, like, yeah. Look. All right. We're going to short rest, Mr. DM. Okay. That's a half hour, right? Or an hour? It's an hour. All right. Does the belt do anything to my penis? No. Okay. I is it really pretty? It is really pretty. Are the butterflies moving? You guys get an extra no. D6. I'm uninjured. Of health? Yeah. Nice. I took my own good on my heaties. You're... Temper, your temper hit point drop is still active, by the way. Yes. Yeah, I think you gotta do a long rest. That's a long rest, right? Or no, is restoration the only way to get? I don't think it's a D8, right? D10. 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 Okay. But if you remember, one of your hit dice is only a D8. I have two of them. Two of them. And you have that bonus D6 because we have an epic. Well, wait, it doesn't stack, does it? So let me just say. Because he has both on arrest as well. I. I. <laughs> it just says if you or any friendly creatures in here perform your performance, regain hit points as well as short rest, um, they get an extra D6. So, I believe so if you're performing with him, everyone will get 2D6 on arrest. Correct. Yeah. Okay. I, I was I literally one hit point away from You can do it. Nice. <laughs> that is cool. That's 2d6 on a short rest, even if no one else uses their hit dice. Party of Bards go through, they get knocked out. <laughs> they finally <laughs> win, and they're all back to normal after playing the song. They sit around in Kumbaya, and they're good. Six <laughs> level two you bards! You only get the hit points back if you roll a hit dice, though. Oh, okay. well, so it'll take six level two bards have two hit dice that they can use. They all use one, and then they get... 12d6 of HP. Yeah. Or 6d6 yeah. of I'm HP. That's going to be more than what their hit point uh, total is. Yeah, that, that is good until they're like level 12. I'll be right back, gentlemen. You have three hallways in this room. One to the left, one in front, one to the right. Well, the Song of Rest uh, goes up. So it oh, goes yeah. up to uh, like at, 8 at and then ninth, 10. Ninth level, it's a d8. Yeah. It's a d10 at 13th level, and it's, it's a d12 at 17th level. So... It's gonna be good every time. At a party of <laughs> six bards at 17th level, it's 60 HP back on top of however many. They, they have 17 short rests that they can take. You can be like, I'm gonna take a short rest. Are we done with that one? Let's take another. <laughs> after, after every single account of short rest, guys. Yeah, okay, yeah. they all get their inspiration back. <laughs> <laughs> and people are like, oh yeah, bards are lame. No, bards are the best. Uh, which at 17th level, the inspiration should be... And they can all learn Wish. Uh, is Wish one of the ninth level bar spells? But they're only going to ever have one ninth level spell. And Wish is not worth it. An actual play, Wish is only worth it when you get a Ring of Three Wishes or a Luck Play. Because otherwise it strips you of the ability to use Wish eventually. Well, it's not necessarily... Like, if you cast Wish for any of the things that are listed, you can't lose your ability to cast Wish. Mm -hmm. But the things that are listed are pretty generic. So, let's put it this way. Uh, 20th level Bard. 20th level Bard. Uh, I'm sorry, 17th level. It goes up to... Bard levels. Every one of us are multi-classing into Bard. That is not true. Okay. Apparently, Wait, a, a party... Well, so we're going to continue right, right? Obviously. Oh no! He's right. You can't learn uh, wish, but you can learn concrete kill. If, if they're all college, college of war, they can learn wish. Uh, yeah. Um, they so can learn wish at fourteenth level. At seventeenth level, they will all have um, at least five d twelve uh, bardic inspirations with seventeen. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Because uh, so we just realized that uh, you can spend base, all your bardic inspiration inspiring the rest of the bards. Mm -hmm. Right? 
then you take a short rest. You get all your bardic inspiration back. Everyone plays Song of Rest. You spend one hit die, and everyone now gets six D12s plus one D8. A party of musicians is one of the most dangerous <laughs> things. Next campaign, you all are going to be bards, because that would be hilarious. I will. I will it's literally, like, you kill, like, everybody nearly dies. All right, short rest, everybody use one hit okay. dice, but you actually gain 2d6 hit dice <laughs> from just two yeah. guys. Yes. I love it. Yeah. So, that was an accident. Auto's That's a fortunate dance. accident. As you guys walk down the next quarter, it's only what? What happened at 20? You feet. are assuming something here. Well, it's fair. And we are investigating every corridor now okay. that the big metal man is This next quarter is 20 feet long as you're at the end of it. At the end of the 20 foot long quarter is a dead end. What do you guys want to do? Check the wall. Yeah, check the dead end. Okay, uh, I'm looking at you because you have the better. So I'm going to make an investigation check. I will. I will allow with advantage. Oh, because I'm sure somebody is going to be a helping to deal. So 15 plus 7, 22 to investigate the hallway and or the dead end there. At the end of the dead end, it is a false door. A false wall. All right, that's a false wall. Can I find the switch with my 22? Yeah, you're able to find it. It's just a, a simple push. Uh, but it's a heavy push. But I'll say between the few of you, <coughs> push it open. Um, as you walk into the next area, this is a huge opening. Um, you see little huts and little stands and a bunch of creatures just walking around. Um, oh, yeah. They're all bipedal rats. <gasps> and These are the famous were rats of Waterdeep. As they look at you and see these four strangers come in. They just start to scurry away and scatter. Wait, we're friends! Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, they don't see a lamb and they're just like, boy, what is that? They start slobbering. I'm going to yell out, uh. I oh, I, I don't even know. I'll play my harp. A really friendly song on my harp. Yeah. Okay, Natural 20 performance. Oh, okay. I want to tap 23. dance. 23! Uh, I want to tap dance and sing. I have performance as a skill because oh, of play shit. singer. What? Yeah, we all might as well join in on this. Yeah, I got a we are a, mus- a musical troupe. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I don't even want it. <laughs> That's an 18, a 19, a 20, and a 15. Those are just to die. I got, wow. I got a 29. Or, I'm sorry, yeah, 29. 29 on your loop? And my performance is a 24. A 24 on what on your instrument? Loop. Two loops and a harp. <laughs> all and plus 20. I am Mine's a nat 20. And he is dancing probably better than most people have ever danced to our music. So as you guys are, all, as all these rat-like creatures are starting to scurry and scatter away, you guys just start playing, and you're actually going to throw a lot of them. A lot of them just come sit over and start listening. Uh, some will actually throw copper pieces at you guys. At us? <laughs> Thanks for the money, but um, I'm assuming you guys, since you seem to have a little bit of society here, you guys can speak. Yes, you can. Wow, you guys, you guys oddly sound like this gnome I know. Zap on Zap on Chat. Every note sounds sound like that. I haven't seen one of your kind before. What are you? We are the rat folk. We live here many, many years. I'm a lamb. I'm sorry, the only thing that I can think of is the Tuckermanian rat that are. She's tasty. No, no, no. Let's not get her killed. No, that's just strictly. So we were. <laughs> What's a we were sent down the giant wire. You're aware that that was a false door? Uh, yes, false wall? We, we, false. Keep, we keep that water to stay hidden. Well, we'll go shut it, just in case someone was following. Um, then, uh, shut it. Shut it. We were sent down here. We're actually exploring the area. We're looking for a shield, right? She did tell a shield. Yes. yes. We're a looking for a shield, shield, a legendary shield. It's been missing about 50 years. Oh, see, that's going to be the, the big opening. Can you, can you like, look, and I draw a short version of the map, which is the three claw, basically like chicken foot domino game. Yeah. Uh, can he so generally show it? He, he points to the, in the middle hallway, like where a room would be, and then he points to, like, upper right hand a little bit more. So if we were to leave your room and go back to that room with the sarcophagus, <coughs> Go down the middle tunnel and then take the right tunnel. There's a bigger opening that way. Go go right to another room, and then there's only one exit from that room, and that's oh. where you go. How can we take you in inside? Well, I'm going to inside it first. We already did. With Nat our... 20 with a 23. Yeah, he being honest with you has no reason to lie to you. How, how can we take you back for helping us? See, you, you buy wares. 
What do you got? Yeah, please. Uh, and the, he points to a bunch, like, there's literally, like, this is a, like, almost a small city down here. For the <coughs> and like I said, this is a huge opening. Um, and as you kind of look around, you do see there is uh, one opening on the other side, and then an opening back to the, uh, behind you guys. I pull out my pouch to put platinum in the gold bag found in the bottom of the Yeah, Correct. we have, what's this? We have oh, 70 gold, uh, from just the party funds. Apparently, no, I, I think we're, we're, up, I we're like for him. we're up to like four or five hundred. They gave us all our belt. stuff, right? Yeah, you guys. Have so a, some, I think we're at like five hundred and fifty, yeah. five hundred and sixty gold. What do you have yeah. uh, in terms of? Well, they're not people. Spike like chain in you. <laughs> you. And you see, like the ones that are that case. do have weapons are mainly I like daggers and people. very small crossbows. Um, they don't have particularly what you're looking for. Um. But they say, oh, we, we have food, we have water, we have alchemo, alchemo potions, we have, you know, daggers and crossbows and alchemo. Do you have arrows? <clears throat> yeah, we just have arrows. Any arrows. We might just be flint because the arrows are like, like it's a simple weapon. Those are arrows. All right. Okay, how much platinum did I find down there? Like, how much money did I find down there? I told you. Five platinum and 20 gold. Oh, 70 gold. Okay. So that's somebody who's listening. <laughs> uh, yeah, platinum's 10. For, I just break everything down to gold because it's, when an enemy, or when someone says buy this for this, they always say gold. Um, do you have any, like, uh, you guys have been down here for a long time as a tribe, a uh, nation? Yeah. We go to the surface to scavenge, but yeah. Uh, do you have any uh, leaders? And I show uh, the Andarial seal and Durial seal. And then I also tell them I'm curious about my own tattoos. These were on me when I was born. Do you have any leaders who could maybe give us some insight on these? Oh, you want the shaman. Yeah, can I talk to the shaman? Um, maybe. Don't know. We'll find out. And he scurries away. You guys want to look around while you're waiting for him to come back, or what do you guys um, do? I will because all I need is um, you guys tower over these creatures, yeah. by the way. So all I need is my spike chains because my armor is the best. What? Be. <laughs> Why are you raising your hand? I will. Uh, I will stay right here with the copper. In your guys' scavenging, have you seen other like me? Big metal. And they take you down to the very south of this big thing, and strung up is a a small warforged. Oh my god, it's sunk. Oh my god, it better not be. No, like it is, it is like roped off of the hands, almost like it's uh, like it's been crucified in a sense. I'm gonna, I'm how many eyes it. does he have? Um, <clears throat> how many eyes does it have? It has two eyes. Take this. Yeah. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna poke it with a stick. There's no response. What happened? This, uh, it tried to evade us and kill us. How long ago? Our ancestors say this happened over 260 years ago. Is this... Here come in the balls! Wait, is this... This is apprentice number two. This is apprentice number one. Mm -hmm. Are we 100% certain apprentice number one was a warforged? I thought we were. Because apprentice apprentice was, the apprentice was not a warforged. Oh, well. But well, we do know Sana had one. It doesn't matter. There's more like him. Yeah. There is more like him. Jesus. Is he still activated? You guys both said nothing happened. Do you know how to activate a Warforged? It doesn't <laughs> look like The it, Platinum Warforged blushes. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't look like him, even without the Platinum. Uh, it looks more like a clockwork. Similar to Nim. Oh. Fucking Nim. <laughs> <laughs> yes! This yes! isn't Nim, but it's more akin to Nim than it would be an actual Warforged. Can we have him? But you guys don't have a frame of reference, so you guys think yes. it's a work. Can we have him? Ah, oh no, that is a reminder of what can be out there. If, well, okay, yes, it's a great reminder of what can be out there, but we wanted to scavenge it for parts to make our Warforged better. Oh no, he already better. Very Look better. how shiny he is. He's made of platinum. I use three of his Flex. fingers 
for that war point. Yep. I don't think uh, uh, three toad. We assume you still have we, five battle toad. We don't want those. We don't want those. Okay. All right. Um, about twenty minutes of this goes by before um a very uh, it's hard to discern age, but a very old looking around, like, almost like a splinter. Very um, Like the long white beard, the typical shaman looking. Uh, the staff that he has is actually double his height. Um, and as he walks here, he he speaks very clear for from what you were expecting. He says, "Hello, what can I do for you?" I can't wait. Show him the tattoos of Andariel and Duriel. And Duriel. Mark. Oh, you have the curse marks. Hey, can you tell us about them? I can. Um, what those marks mean is that you have an alternate self. Do I have the marks? Not that you can tell. Do you know anything about the tattoo? And I show him how, like I, uh, don't expose myself, but I show him how it's it's now spread across everything but my face, or at um, least you said it covered my body now. Yes. Um. That is unique. I haven't seen anything like that in nigh on 60 years. I'm pretty sure my mom had herpes, so it passed me. It's something your mom gives. If I if I recall correctly, you, you don't. Your mom didn't have it. You don't have it. <laughs> oh, if I recall correctly, that tattoo is handed down through. A generation of warriors. Uh, from what I've read, the initial phase of your tattoo gives you increased durability. It does. Uh, hmm. It's much because I'm a wizard. I can tell them it's much like the effects of the mage armor. Hmm, yes. Um, from what I know, there are five phases, but no one's ever gotten to the fifth. Alright. So I thank him for the information. I'm only the clerk. Oh. Or else it gives me major armor. But I mean, that's pretty awesome. Uh, Alright, so can I tell him how the other uh, rat folk have given us the general details of go back, go down the middle tunnel, take the right tunnel. The only exit from that right tunnel is where we're going to try and find a missing relic from 50 years ago, a shield. And the shield you will find, along with its guardian. Can you tell us about the guardian? Mm-hmm. We'll pay. I pull out much shiny. No, make a uh, persuasion check. Uh, that is not my shtick. That is not your shtick today. I mean, it's still a 13. <laughs> <laughs> you just... can inspire yourself. Can't you? Oh, I mean, the nat one's a nat one. Yeah. <laughs> so a nat one is a nat one, but a nat 20 isn't a nat 20. Well, just because if you roll a nat one and the other person rolls high, I mean. Yeah, which is it's far more likely. But, like, if I rolled a nat one and the enemy rolled a nat one, am mine still higher yeah, than him? Yeah, you'd, pro- you'd probably get that. Eh? But, so, like, a nat 20 would still probably be a nat 20 on, like, an acrobatics truck to get up the tree. Yeah. Whereas a nat one, you're still... But, like, if something's resisting your roll, then, then you do have to... Because, I mean, if, if it's got a plus 13, like, probably, like, it's generally just going to see through you. Mm-hmm. Um, alright. So, that is He's, everything from these guys, you think? He says, the creature you're looking for may not see you. But it's other citizens are. It has... It can walk around on all fours. However, it has two more appendages coming out from its back, almost like an extra set of arms that it uses to help walk around. Um, it is very long and serpent-like. And it's very tough to see. Very tough to see? Yes. Like invisibility out of, or camouflage? Out of character, I have killed multiple things, and I forgot. But like, is my ring still absorbing essences? Mm-hmm. Okay, has it done anything yet? Nope. Because I've killed, like, I've been around a bunch of yeah, stuff. Yeah, no worries. Alright. That's, that's what you have. Alright, anyways, that's your question. So, like, camouflage or invisibility with these senses? It's more like it exudes darkness. Shit. 
know what it is. Damn it. And I hate these things. I really hate these things. What do you hate? Uh, this is going to be tough. Uh, this be this is going to be tough because I can't I hate this place. Beef. That's okay. We'll have a torch. Okay. Yeah. We have bards. Someone knows the light can't be. Please don't do it. Either <laughs> if you know it. Excellent. That's awesome. I just assured Sorry. you. Totally I, I, wrong. I took vicious mockery and minor illusion. <laughs> you, can light, you can make him think he sees a light. It's a torch that gives off no light. When we find it, I've got fairy fire. If, like, if you go to fight this creature, I would recommend buying some of our potions. Uh, how about I'm I trade you? That was a dump. Dart out. Have you never negotiated? No. no. You be quiet. <laughs> you. I'm going to give you two doses of uh, antitoxin. Um, I try and the poison. No, no, no. I'm gonna give you two doses of antitoxin. Try and uh, barter with those. I think they're worth fifty gold in the. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, player's handbook. Um, so I will take a hundred gold for each. Make a persuasion check with disadvantage. <laughs> wow. Way to just not do. Well, it was the same roll both times. Maybe so it's twenty-four. Making it a twenty-two. Twenty-two. <laughs> I know what those are worth as I create those myself. However, you need all the help you're going to get if you're going against the system. So I'm no gonna... shit! <laughs> no so, shit! So I'll accept. He gave us 200 gold! I made this shit from berries! <laughs> One has to try. <laughs> One has to try! So we now have 200 gold we'd like to trade for healing potions. Um, Not healing. Or, yeah, what potions would you recommend for fighting this guardian? Well, if you don't have capable healers, you're going to want to buy some healing potions. I can heal 19 HP with a potion. I have a 19 HP as well. I can give you guys uh, an extra D6 for a <laughs> How come you guys took no healing? Casey's got plenty. I have cure wounds. Yeah, <laughs> but he's got to lay on hands. He's a set of punches. Yeah, uh, I use that yeah. too. <laughs> he's got cure wounds. I don't want him touching me. He's got the same haircut as Donald Trump, and I'm a woman. Oh, oh. Oh, grab him by the pussy. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. Hey, as long if a probably grabbed you by the pussy, you no, can still get health back. Yeah. It, it might feel violated. Well, it probably feels Yeah, but good then too. you're just going to see my, <laughs> my mask turn red. It's a bunch of, like... And then they're... they're just, it's yeah. just a holy image. Like, you just... <laughs> you became a maiden again. You made Anakin! You made Anakin Skywalker. Skamas <laughs> kun you baka. <laughs> Um, alright, so what type of potions you got? <laughs> um, he says... Hentai? We have some potions of fire breath. Potions of greater healing. We're gonna want the fire breath. Healing. No, we won't. Yeah, we do. Um, He'll breathe fire. No, that's, that's oh. a waste of money. Potion of heroism? That's good. We don't need that. I can cast heroism. And one it's potion... Like a third or fourth level spell? It's a second level spell. And oh. one potion of invulnerability. Okay, no. so... We have no. 550 gold. What do you want for the... We have more than that. You just got a bunch of flat. Yeah, I, t- I totaled that in. Oh, okay. We have 550 Wait, gold. Wait, is flat 100 gold or 10 gold? 10. 100. Or it's 10. 100. Oh. It's 550... Or 700... Stop talking, Doc! <laughs> we have... What is 750 gold. How much do you want for the potion of vulnerability? Uh, that would be 3,500 gold. <laughs> How Can about the greater healing? The greater healing? No, I think you're 150 gold each. All right, look, uh, the DM has not been giving us loot for anything, even though we've been searching bodies. So uh, we're just going to need you to come down. <laughs> Sharply. <laughs> I, I I just, 90% discount. I'm going to come up to right. Scamos and say, what's a DM? Is there something we can get you? you got to remember, you are in a world where a lot of the magical stuff has been destroyed, so yeah. magic's hard to find. I'm willing to trade parts of the beast. For a reduction in the price of the potion of the You said it had two tentacle things? We will bring back both of those tentacles for that potion of hero. I'm telling you what, if you kill the beast, we'll take the entire carcass and I'll give you the potion of vulnerability. Okay. And the potion of fire breath. Come on. The heart of negotiation no, 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 is we'll, give we'll, and take. We'll make a persuasion check. Yeah, okay. Uh, help me. Okay. Uh, 18. Why did you just roll with advantage? He helped you. It's a help action, guy. What are you saying to help? Please. 
<laughs> you, you told us this was going to be a fairly tough fight. And, uh, as you can see, uh, we have some fairly inexperienced ones. Uh, ones who really just think they know how to smash. We, we're obviously not as skilled That's as you. That's funny, because I know how to smash, too. And <laughs> what? What so, uh, we're going to just, uh, we're, we're just going to need the end. But we will give you the entire watch. Okay. And what's your total advantage? 20. 20? It says very well. A portion of fire reading too. Alright. I'm eating the can. Um, I will give him 150 gold to, for the greater healing potion. Okay. So that's 20 HP? Mm, I believe so, yes. Okay. What, well, what is it? Is it... Potion of greater would be... 48? 48 plus 4. So that's so 30, 36. 16, 24, 32. 36 HP. So I will give my 19 HP potion to you, because you have to drink it all in one go. So you can write down 19 HP potion. Mm -hmm. And I will keep the 36 HP potion and try and work it back up to where it's needed. <laughs> because if I use an action, I can feed you some of the potion. Uh, and that leaves us with 600 gold. Right. Not counting what individuals have. Like, I have three gold as an individual. But we have 600 gold party. You guys gotta keep track of your own gold. Oh, that's perfect. I have zero. Uh, each arrow you buy is, is 25 gold, by the way. Each arrow? Oh, wait, no, that's plus one ammunition. Never mind. Uh, they do have some plus one arrows. 25 gold each. Otherwise, a bundle of 20 arrows will cost you 10 silver. I will give you 100 gold. How much will you take for her wool? What if we sheared the uh, A bundle, a bundle of wool. Whoa! <laughs> you uh, got, oh, hey, a, party. No. A bundle People of wool. I will sell you a bundle, bundle of wool for 20, 50 gold. 50 gold. Deal. No! <laughs> hey. Buddy, hold him down. Hold her down. Hold, it, hold her down. I'm hey, running. you're going to get two running. plus one arrow. Make it your dexterity saving throw as all these ratlings start to swarm you. Too. Nice! The ratlings you. help! 15. You are just... 16. You are pinned down by all these ratlings. Oh my god. Hey, but I immediately take the 50 gold and I buy two ammunition with it. That's okay, girl. You're my money maker. And then I That's not how that works. Here's I bought here's six money. plus one ammunition for 150 gold. That brings us to 500. Okay. I will give him yeah, one but not gold soon enough. And that will buy 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. You just need a greater 120, 140, 160, 80, 180, 200. I don't know why I had to count by 20. Yeah. 200 arrows. I bought 200 arrows for one gold. Mm -hmm. So you have 200 arrows, plus you have six good arrows, and that leaves us at 499. Thing. Do they have any magical chains? Um, no, you already asked that. No, I asked about spike chains. But oh, that's okay. No, they don't have any magical chains. Alright, do you guys want, we got 499 gold, let's this go. is the first, let, let's go do it. Uh, Short rest once is more into the breach. Once more into the, hey, that's nice. Do you yeah, have I any, know. any I love that magical one. bows? Calm down, dude, you have the best, uh, You so far you have the best weapons in the game right now. Yeah, but I'm just asking. Oh, uh, they do not. I don't have the gold to give you. I'm tight fisted. You yeah, know? but I feel like after being molested, <laughs> they would hey, be the best time. part is we can the, molest you again in two weeks. The total weight for <laughs> arrows is 10 pounds, by the way, just so you know. Yeah. I'm cold now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just shivered. And we can do that every like two weeks. Oh, just wait till he goes into um, wolf form. Oh my! Let me tell you, if you show up with a cone and shaved, I will. Oh, I will. I'm sorry. Pay. Twenty arrows is one gold. One gold? Yes. I miss. I misspoke. I'm sorry. Well, then I would. I would give what ten gold then. Okay. Okay. Yeah, right? okay. Yeah. Okay. So that takes us to four ninety. Because I still want him to have all the arrows. If we're gonna count, like, for the record, then he may come in the foreseeable future. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and Lamb, you are freezing. At least I've got leather armor. Yeah. The shaman does bring you over a small a cloak that you can put on, but it only covers, like, the upper, like, half. Plus you have to hide your weird small. camel toe now. 
<laughs> that image. That image right there. That's the one that I am thankful for. <laughs> Let's move on. Do I have pants with my leather armor? I hope I have pants. And all those, like, animals like that? <laughs> like, I would say they, yes. like, He just got this buggered butthole that's out in the open <laughs> because they're hot, don't me? <laughs> I got a little tail. <laughs> he covered your little buggered butthole. <laughs> Great. Congratulations. We are actually walking with our own money tree. That's why I thought these were my money makers. <laughs> we're going to share you every two weeks. Will not always work. Just saying. Well, I mean, maybe we won't get that much gold, but everyone needs wool. Or at the very least, we can stay warm. Yeah, we can make our own fucking blankets. You can just see him by the fire knitting. <laughs> There's such a thing as snake leather. And dog leather. Yeah. So, so what do you guys want to do? When you uh, morph, we're going to follow the path they yeah. set up for. Can we go to the middle tunnel? Do we want to explore the other routes just for loot? We no. can on the way back. Yeah, we'll do it on the way back. We're going to do middle tunnel. If you come back, we'll talk. Yeah. Middle tunnel, right tunnel, uh, guardian room. But we're going to investigate for traps the entire time. Okay. So just tell me when to roll. So, uh, the next... The next quarter is only about 10 feet and before you go into the next room. That's actually strangely lit. Like, the next room is... Are there torches, can... or is it just lit? No torches. It's just the... The this, this the walls in this room are, like, covered with moss, and it's kind of a luminescent moss. I'm yeah, going to tell that. you to gather up as much of the moss as we can carry. Yeah. Then we're going to throw it into the boss room. Dude, that is amazing. I like that you called it the boss room, too. But we will take the moss... Yeah, after I take a piece off the wall, hold on a second. I'll take a small piece off the corner. How long does it last? Does it die out immediately in my hand? Come on, come on, come on. Get your neck. Because it might only be good for a Because if we walk by a bunch of ammo and med packs, like, we're, we're totally going to die. Yeah. We already got the ammo. And Potions. we picked up the med cap. Potions and the save point. I feel <laughs> I feel a boss coming out. Why do I hear boss music? Yeah. I like that meme. Oh, it's a rabbit. Okay. The We're meme of Gandalf who, uh, from Moria when he's looking around. I have no recollection of this place. Yeah. Um. So, the the light is, um, it's almost as though it's uh, uh, a torch torch light uh, luminescent, and you pull it off and it instantly dims to nothingness. Dim. It does dim to nothingness. Yes. Okay. Because that one piece died. What if I gather up a bigger piece? Does the biome just die anyways? Yes. As soon as it's removed from its from its origin, it dies out. Okay. So that I admit. Well, if someone look through the moss to make sure there's not some sort of creature blending in. Uh, I guess I'll look for weird creatures. Make a Thirteen. Check. Oh, perception. Thirteen. Because it's camouflage. Uh, yeah. Nineteen. No creatures you can see. Yeah. So it's taken away from its origin. So then we have to take the room with us. We have to take the rock at the very least. That's you can punch right. the wall. Wow. To try to take a rock. Make an attack roll. What? I didn't know that we were here. He, he's about to hit the creature no that needed an at 20 to see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He just, there's this thump. No rocks come out, and they're just like uh, dead the snakes. Ten. Randall. Yeah. Ten. Just start talking. You can communicate with snakes. Just Nothing start talking and see if anything talks all. back. The, the moss kind of just absorbs your punch. Alright. Well, this isn't going to work. We, we, started with, we started with we started with Dungeoneer Pack. We got torches. Let's just go. Yeah. I have dark vision anyways. Yeah, I do not. I do. That's nice. I'm going to need, uh, we're going to need light sources. Because even with dark vision. Do you have a backpack? This, this is the shittiest. I have a punch. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some rope and I'm going to fashion torches. To his back. Nice. He'll be like the uh, the uh, guitar playing dude from Mad Max Fury Road. Yeah. We're gonna take a few seconds to do that, and we're gonna make uh, fashion torches. a torch holder on his back while we're gonna light him. Not him. Yeah. The torches. He looks seven foot. Yeah. And we're adding an extra two feet. Yeah. You might have to kneel. Or but I already have two feet. Why do I need more? Don't worry about it. It makes you, more, hey, it makes you, you know more how safe. you have to ask random questions on the aside? You also have to make sure that you don't say any of those random questions where he can hear you. 
You know how you have requirements where you need to learn about the world a little bit, right? Well, the metal human is incapable of learning about the world, so we don't say questions in front of us. Okay? Is he the magical term retarded? Uh, we like to call it pulling a gate. What's a gate? A retard. He <laughs> <laughs> steps right into that. <laughs> so he is retarded. Yeah, he's just not cool at it like Dredd of Thurnbuck. <laughs> on his back and we lift him. You got a 10 foot long, 5 foot wide tunnel or corridor that you go through. There are no bullets in there, Casey. No traps? Nothing in that you saw. Okay, so you go first, Casey, because you're the, you're the light source. And I will come second or third and I will have a, a, a torch as well. And I will be torch. Because all I'm going to do is throw the torch and then Place your character as you enter the room, please. We need to see if they have Dark Souls bosses as DMD monsters. They probably um, do. I need that would be awesome. A, the, the, the Dark Souls bosses are actually. A uh, miniature cool. for my Elven Blade. No, no, they wouldn't be for DMD. They're, they aren't Dark Souls just because uh, they want to make this way. I think you're using him. I will. I will. Can we, like, cut the end game boss as Shaggy, and we all die? No. I'm not fighting any stupid Christmas uniform bosses. And nothing with wasps. I quit. Why are you so... I hate bugs. Um, but it's... They're, they're, not, they're not real. I don't care. They're I not can't real. Them. You can handle the purple worm just fine. Yeah. Hey, dude, it just reminds me of my penis. As you guys enter this massive cavern... You see a a gem on a pedestal in the very center. Um, you also see in front of this pedestal what you assume is a shield that you guys are looking for. I immediately look up. You don't see anything on the ceiling. Okay. As you get a little bit closer, you see this large figure rise up from behind the pedestal as this yellow creature with spines and tendrils on it, uh, no eyes, and what you can only assume are claws instead of wings. As, as long as it's not a displacer beast animal. As this cave dragon senses your presence, I need everyone to roll initiative. Cave dragon. Can you roll higher? Please. Oh, yeah. I'll roll higher right now. Actually, you <laughs> did it! Here, I'll try it again. Can I roll higher? Yeah. Oh, nice. That one doesn't count. Can I have this one? I'd rather have a 15 than an 11. Well, not going faster than me. Luckily for you, I rolled a natural 2 on his initiative. Yes. Not going faster than me. Where are you going? Yeah, can it be that thing? No. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe, sometimes you just gotta sit there and not be a part of the gag, okay? God. But I'd rather fight Charlie's bear. Hmm. Alright. 25 to 30. 23. Oh, never mind. Hold on, you gotta 20, go. 2025. 20, 23. Because these two idiots, I have an you gotta go 30 got. to 26. I do. <laughs> Uh, 20 to 25, or 15 to 20. 
What, what do you two get? Eleven. Eight. Okay. That is good. Uh, We're going faster than it. As far as I'm aware. Depending on its initiative. It's, it got a three. Okay. Yes, we're going faster than it. All right. So, Arlon Jekyll, you guys are up first. Um, I will cast Mirror Image. Move 30 feet. No. Yeah, I will act. I'll cast mirror image, activate the song. I'll move 40 feet, and then I will have Sun Wukong hide in my hair with a 17, and I will have the dragon behind my back, and then I will ask the cave dragon in Draconic uh, if uh, Mazra was that the what's the Mizra? Mizra is his mom. And I'll be my turn. You hear back in Draconic. No. Alright. Dang it. I retort Thought there's a chance, but this was one of my stepkids. Jekyll, you're up. I will move Draconic. I don't think it's his mom. Straight behind Joe and the one he gave us. Uh, and I will. I will give Joe. Okay. I want to know what song you're playing for me. I will tell you stop me now. Okay, I'm going to use performance to critique your performance. Nat 20. I have a lot to say about it. Don't stop wow. me. Wow! <laughs> you're going to listen. Don't stop me now. Cause I'm having a good time. That way he can listen to happy music while he dies. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I walked right into the breath weapon. How good are we on wisdom? Not good. Uh, like, we're... no, his. I do think he is on wisdom. Oh, no, that'll be one of his worst scores. Good. The only thing lower than his wisdom will be his strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, and charisma. Cool, well, I'm going to suggest him laying down. Yeah. Uh, Based on my knowledge the... here, which is nothing. No, I'm streaming. 30. I don't have copyright claim for that. Oh, you can't play music during the... No. Oh, yeah. Not the Especially since I upload to YouTube, that, that I can get uh, hit with a copyright and that. And are we allowed to sing songs? Well, it's there? Queen. No, of them are alive. Still, or, I'd, not together. I'd rather play it safe. They're alive. Oh, I know. Yeah. They're not together. Oh, yeah. But I'd rather they're play it safe. Yes, they are. So, so what are you doing? Queen yeah, is still a band, you dumbass. Okay. Are still together? Yes. They don't tour, but like they don't just... No, they just... That is a 18. You know what isn't copyrighted? Don't play any music. Just focus on your turn. The yeah, fight music and that's it. Fair. Is there even fight music that overplays? It just continues the sound music. Mm -hmm. okay. I need all of you to make a dexterity web uh dexterity oh, saving throw. Yeah, you, you <laughs> didn't go with me. Go. Hmm? Get, get in go. I don't know a lot. I realize that. Okay, so no, I'm sorry, you're, you're a six at best. Uh, Maybe a seven. Okay, so I'm just gonna move forward till I'm inside the area. There's ten feet. Yep. And I'm going to shoot at this nasty thing. So what bow are you using? My longbow. Okay. That is an 18 plus fire to hit. That hits. You're probably going to have to tell him whenever you're uh, using the magic hammer. Yeah. Okay. He's, he's going to know because I'm not going to... Anything else? Actually, roll. Um, no, no, no. You no. still have to roll for magic damage, or the arrow damage. Well, for the arrow damage, not the attack. For my two one. I have 16 piercing arrow. Oh, no. I would, no, I would, 
I would regular shoot your magic arrow. Because they have a plus one to hit. I've only got... I've only uh, available twice. Your magical arrows that you just got. You are six plus oh, one plus those one. ones. It's plus one to hit, plus one... Okay. I, th- I was thought I thought you were talking about my other no, magic no, arrows. Yeah. Not your ability arrows, but your magic arrows. Okay. Um... And you said dexterity saving throw? Yeah, because he's going to cast it. web right here. So everyone <laughs> needs to make the dexterity saving throw. Good. Uh, I totally beat it. In fact, I did even better than him. I did, Matt, 20, uh, 25. Okay. I did Matt, Matt 1 plus you. 4. Okay. Did we all roll a Matt 1? I rolled a Matt oh, 1. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't two. roll until the start of your turn. Oh, okay. My good. bad. I'm so sweet! Well. No, you still gotta re-roll because I'm re-rolling blind! <laughs> and he's going to burrow underground. Oh god! It's a blue dragon. I quit. It's not a blue dragon, it's a it's yellow a dragon. dragon. It's a cave dragon. And it's gonna play just like Eric. Uh, because that's and you where it play. oh you guys can't see actually. So Is it within up. ten feet of my my fair or my Kieran? No. Oh okay. My um, Kieran can see it. Ardalan, you're up. Dexterity saving throw for you and your monkey and your um, daughter. Daughter. Uh, so I got a twenty-one. Okay, you're good. The daughter's flying behind mm-hmm. my back, and the monkey's on my shoulders. They still it's roll. still on the web. Yep. Okay. As a twenty-foot cube. Twenty-foot cube. Yeah, web is a. So awesome. she got a. She's advantage on that, so she has not advantage, but proficiency in that. Mm-hmm. So. Three, four, she's got a ten, so like, out of the park, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's just a bail. She's yeah, a and uh, the um, monkey, monkey got a ten. Alright, they're, they're both con- restrained by the web again. Okay. So if I move, they just stay where they are? Yes. What if I use my action to grab them and then move? Then you can make a check, a strength check versus the DC to try and re- release one of them for... Well, I'm going to. Clearly, it's my turn, right? right? Yep. Okay, so I will. Is it an action to send my familiar away? Yes, it's an action to vampire your familiar. Alright, well, then I'll grab my daughter. Okay. Uh, what do I roll? Strength check. Okay, so that's a three. <laughs> Still stuck in there. Okay. Alright. Well, then I will hug around them and I will stay where I am. Okay. The mirror image. So I'm generally and there. this is difficult terrain as well. How are you happy now? Yeah, difficult terrain doesn't slow my group's travel. I'm not technically traveling. It, it we we ignore difficult terrain for traveling, yes, but not in a combat situation. Well, I ignore difficult terrain. <laughs> All right, Jekyll, you're up. Take thirty seconds, bro, please. Uh, that was a twenty-one. Well, uh, Look at the DM just doing everything they can to neutralize uh, my and, offense. And I'm going to move. <laughs> As close to the shield as I can. Okay. The devil of the shield. 20, 25, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to pick it up. Okay. And I'm going to get it on the pedestal. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then hide behind the shield. So, you, so you're on the pedestal next to the, the large gem that's on there? Oh, yeah. Will you allow me to oh. pick that up? No, you pick up the shield. That's what I thought. Okay. So, so you hide under the yes. shield? Yes. Okay. Uh, Lamb, you're up. Take your saving throw. Nineteen. You're good. Alright. Uh, I'm kind of concerned. I'm gonna move back a space. So, lo and behold, it pops up right in the tunnel. <laughs> Cutting off the exit. It's mouth cutting. Maybe. It's under here, so. As soon as I see him, I'm going to shoot. Okay. Camel, sure. Dexter, you can throw. Yes. Now, spider webs. You are webbed. Are very flammable. Mm-hmm. Oh my. And God. we have Stamos with three four torch 
torches. I, I had a torch, but I threw mine. Yeah. Or I would have just On his it. back. Lit. We'll get there. Okay. I haven't forgotten. Yeah, you did. No, I haven't. It all depended on what his dexterity saving throw was. And, it was and he is caught in the web. As the web is around you and you try to start moving to get out of it, your torches light the web on fire. So, everybody is going to take 2d4 fire damage. Uh, not me. Except for you. You're, yeah, so, well, okay, everyone there. So, I think your mom's uh, yeah. five points of fire damage to everything within the web. It's only 2d4, it's not that bad. Yeah, I think my mom's And now the web is gone. Yeah, so, uh, out of character, what are the ways to increase the familiar's HP? There aren't. So uh, like to my familiar knowledge. is really kind of just fluff. Yeah. Unless you're a rogue. Or a warlock. I yes and no, like I personally don't try to target familiars, but AoE stuff is a little bit different. Like you know you I kill my familiar all the time. It's fun. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it costs me two like, gold. If you're gonna like, at least kill him. No, like if you were gonna like use it as your help action or whatever, you know, yeah. then I wouldn't necessarily like be targeting it every round before it does a, its help action. But, but like, it does damage. It, that's true. It does do damage, but it's also always on you. So, I mean, it's always going to be affected by whatever it's going to yeah. affect you for most of the time. Yeah, whereas... So, uh, would like, that be my action oh, being oh, webbed? Pack to the Chain Warlock is going to have his damage. familiar maybe on the... You haven't BC. tried to do anything yet. You were just... And that's the start of your turn. So it's still your turn. Stuff. Okay. So you took the damage. Yeah. You, the web is igniting. Like, the web is, like, igniting as you're like, okay, it's gone. I'm free. What do I do now? So you still have a movement action and bonus action. Well, I lost, uh, I lost my familiar, so I don't have to worry about freeing him. Also, do I have to worry about freeing him? No, the web is gone. It's yeah. hit, hit fire. So your dragon took five damage, your Kinra or whatever took five damage. Here, yeah. You did, and your monkey did. The monkey, yeah, the monkey's gone. I am enthralled by shiny and friends again. What's your movement? 30. Okay. So you pick up the Jenny. And, you, and as you get on the pedestal, you pick up Jenny, you see in the back corner just mounds of gold. So wait, can I have to kill the dragon or grab all this? We are killing the cave dragon. Like, come on. Like, this is... We are playing from 8 to midnight. The whole point was to get to the shield. Let's kill the dragon. I'm not fleeing. <laughs> I have a great red mage character design. No, I'm not fleeing. I'm staying right here. Out of character, I'm staying right here. You in, Casey? Yep. Are you in, in? Yep. Are you going to bitch out in a little bit? I am going to... Would you allow me to jump in the air and slam on the ground to try to pick the dragon up? How much movement have you used? Uh... I would say that would take your action to do it because you want to slam the ground. You've already you picked up pick the gem. Yeah. Okay. So, but you're and in. And it's not a small gem. It is this big. I like the gem. You are in? Yeah. Todd, are you in? I call out to the dragon. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. Nice! <laughs> that is a traditional and insult that they can get. Too bad it's not his turn. Yeah. Alright, oh. anything else you're doing, Scalos? Hey. Uh. Nope. That's oh, yeah, those are yours. <laughs> <laughs> Gave up my uh, advantage um, because it was my first turn combat. But honestly, I'm too far away. At least my sight isn't restricted. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there's there's yeah. a lot of flaming debris now. Nothing happens. You guys can tell. Okay. Okay. Arlon, you're up. Um. I am going to take Melodare, mm -hmm. and I am, it's going to sound really weird, guys, okay, just everyone calm down. I'm going to stepper up my pant leg, all right, and then I am going to cut a small slit in my pant leg in the shape of a triangle, so you can pop her little head out, and I'm going to tuck my pant into my boot, and that will be my action. Okay, I'll know. I'm still blade singing, and I'm still mirror image. Check them. Big pile of gold. Big pile of gold. I'm diving in there, and I'm going to start searching it. What's your movement? 30. Scrooge McDuck in it. I just have to get jump into it. I just can't quite get to it. Hold your action, and I'll throw you to it. No. Okay. You're close. 
because, I mean, a dragon that's been down here for a long time, yeah, this thing's probably got some magical stuff. Oh, and just, can I take, take a quick look at the shield to see if there's any distinguishing marks? Because all I know it's legendary, I don't know anything um, else about it. Looking at the shield, it looks like that gem is supposed to be inserted into the shield. Oh. Um, well, seeing that, I'm going to... Insert dong. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold out to Casey and say, Hit me! I don't think... Casey will get to go before. <laughs> I, I do actually. <laughs> um, I don't Lamb, you're up. stupid. Um, the dragon not up here. So you, same action. Yeah. Okay. Knocking a plus one arrow, right? Knocking a plus one arrow. All right. Scabos. Did you move away from me? Yeah. I need. I need you to like. You can walk up to me. You have thirty foot movement. Yeah. And then I need you to like insert gem. All right. I, I'm like outlining. The gem shape. You could have said it out loud too. Like you would have yeah. done that. And that's only 25, which means you're going to enter the gem and move another five feet towards shiny. Mm -hmm. I know how much you like the shiny. I am enthralled by shiny. I put the gem in. Okay. Does anything happen? Not that you can tell. Dude, if that shield commands a cave dragon, you're amazing. Of course, if it commanded the cave dragon, I think the former owner would have still had it. <laughs> and move five more feet towards the shiny? Yeah, we'll move five more feet. Okay. Can I reach down and attempt to eat a shiny? Nope, your action was to put the gem in the shell. Oh, okay. Uh, since you're the most recent one to move, though, you feel the ground rumble beneath you as the cave dragon pops out, and you see three of them. Huh. Nope, we're fine. We keep at it. We or keep at it. You don't see through. Uh, it's it's hard to see. Like it's moving super fast, um, and it's going to make three attacks on you. Did I see it? Maybe you do see it. Um, or it's blinked. Attack at disadvantage. Cause blurry. No. Cause of what? Blurry. That was a waste of a magic arrow. You can recover them just like regular arrows, or you can try. There's a there's a roll you make. Uh, in the player's own bag. All right, so Look up the one bite and two shoot probably. So the first bite attack on you, Casey, is going to be a natural 20. Ow. I apologize. This is going to hurt. <sighs> I think you, you can recover up to half your ammunition, but it, it, there's a roll. Hold on. Um, 16 points of piercing damage and 6 points of poison damage. Covering ammunition, please. What the property of ammunition? So, thank you. Um, first claw attack is a dirty 20. Uh, no. And the second claw attack is a cock. Uh, 20. Yes, something. Uh, I'm going yeah. to use cutting words. Okay. Drawing the ammunition from quiver, case, or other Knocking container that down is part of the side. attack. So it went from a 25 so down to uh, right, 18. Know that. At okay. the end of the battle, you can recover nice. half your expended right. ammunition on, by that taking is it a for minute the dragon's to dragon's turn. So, so it's going to be Arlon. Yeah. All right. Where's the dragon at? Right in front of Casey. Oh, yeah. I should probably put the Zuni back on. Popped up. Shield. Sweet. I am going to whip it at disadvantage. But as soon as you use the plus one arrow, even if it misses, the magic goes away. Is that what it says? Oh, that's how plus one arrow works. Mm -hmm. That's why it's better to have a plus one bow. Nine. Although this a plus is... one bow becomes technically Let me think for a second. Use plus one ammunition. You do have the sauna. Yeah, I know that. No, uh, like it doesn't uh, affect my hits. Oh. Um, but You're I'm thinking one. about. General, do I feel confident with a nine to roll a D eight and try and but I have your inspiration. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna swing my second hit. Uh oh. fifteen. Does not hit. Okay. However You would have to use your inspiration before I say it does not hit. Oh really? Yes. Yeah. Okay, well I know that fifteen is getting close. Okay. Um Jekyll, you're up. I am going to Bane. What did it say? Yeah. Uh, charisma. Charisma? Well, that is a 
natural two plus that's seven, so that's nine. That's fail. Uh, and then I am going to, uh, for being an ugly monstrosity, I'm vicious mockery, and I'm going to say, "Ha! I've got your gem and shield." And uh, what's the same? That is a eighteen minus four. Oh, you're right, minus yeah. D4. Or minus D4. Ooh, which means actually you, you could still do this. That is a 17. No, no, that's a pass. Uh, Roll the one. And uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. And is that really a safe response? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Vision mockery? Yeah, it's a cantrip. Oh, yeah. Um, Lamb, you're up. one arrow and I'm gonna s tell my uh my arrow to seek the target. Okay. Wisdom save or deck save? Dex. That is a fourteen plus four eighteen. Yep. Minus it'll pass. No. Three, so fifteen. It'll still pass. Okay. But it still takes half the damage. Did your, hey, wait, did your deck put twenty? Yes. Yes. I thought a save if you meet a save you still fail. No if you meet a save you pass. No if you meet a save you pass. What is where if you meet you still fail? It's it's based off my intelligence and oh. my intelligence is plus two. Uh, so six. Still take that damage. Yeah. Seven. Still have my concentration check. Plus concentration. So seven. Seven. Seven yeah. points of damage. Concentration of ten. That's an You don't get to add in your dex. I did. You had. It was half damage. I, I dealt 14 damage, technically. Alright. Anything else, then? Uh, no, that's it. It's kind of a I don't like getting bit, so I'm gonna hit it. Okay. You should bite it back. Back at disadvantage. Uh, Woof! 16 hit? 16 misses, unfortunately. Is it adding a strength? Yeah, why are some of you... So what's your strength? Uh, 16, so it's plus 3. Wow. Is your weapon magical? Yeah. It is, so that's plus a plus one. 1 to hit. He plus was your using proficiency a is a 3. So you had a 17 right there. Our proficiency went up 1. Yeah, your proficiency, yeah. Your proficiency is 3, level 5. Okay. So that's 8, 17? Yes. That just barely hits? No. He's been attacking with his hand eye finally. Yeah, he yeah. has been. Spend a second level spell slot to send. Yes. It's worth it so though because the spells don't do anything. That's why the Paladin Bard is so good. 21 uh, additional damage? Yes. Nice. We gotta get that Fine Grader Steed spell. Yeah. Dude, you can get a Griffin. Yeah, I know. A Celestial Griffin. But it's so that was within this band, right? Yes. Or a Celestial Unicorn. Uh, it's, it's, it's like a natural light thing for a person. Okay. Um, and then, so hold on, I gotta do the concentration. That's a fail. The blur fades. Bonus action, vicious mockery. That's I nice. use fourteen plus four. Vicious mockery is uh, yes. I would have bonus action minus inspired, but that's two. fine. I'm not playing your character, and I almost put that on my deck. All right. Is vicious mockery a bonus action? Mm -hmm. Anything yes. else combos? Wow. Yeah, it is. Nope. That is the amazing. the bonus. It's a bonus action cantrip, but it's a saber stop. So. Mm -hmm. It's only a D4, but it's a D4. And it's a cantrip. And it gives, if you fail Vicious Mockery, aren't you, don't you have disadvantage on your next attack? Yes. Um. Yeah, so when the, they, has he actually taken a Vicious Mockery? He, he is, he is passed it. Oh. Yeah, he's passed it every time. Except um, this time. Okay, so you did. I did. Oh. Who is this? The monkey. Someone will come, he's dead. Oh, okay. And then 
Dragon. Your dragon with you. Yeah. Alright, so. The two of you are going to get opportunity attacks. Um, Scamos and Arlan. Without dragon's going to fly. Without disadvantage. Uh, I have a 23. Okay, that hits. Uh, considering an 11 hit last time when I rolled a. Yep. Uh, yep, that hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, Here's one of these. Sixteen? Yes. Yeah. Six. I rolled two sixes earlier. Hey man, if uh, you give me a chain that can do sixteen damage, I'll Look be your friend <laughs> in real life. No, I literally I just know. rolled that. I thought you were no. already my friend in real Good. life. That's how you're gonna tell. I know. It's okay. I don't want to use your tiny dice. It makes me feel like I'm playing with your balls. Am I able to smite a <laughs> big dick? I don't believe so. Big balls, tiny dick. Can you just smite on a reaction? Yeah. yeah. Anytime he oh. gets a weapon attack, he can expend the spell slot for smite. There you go. Mm -hmm. Again, that's why the Paladin Bard is good, because they're a tank in front line. And I have two second level spells, so I will totally do that. Alright. So, starting here. Uh, now you just gotta magically turn into a halfling. Uh, 21 plus so 4, like so. Yes, we are getting in for this dragon. So much loot. Are you in? Cause you're the next to die. <laughs> I'm still going. Hit me. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I believe this is a magical oh, shield. Oh, he's not bloody. I'm sorry. I, I mathed wrong. He's almost bloody, but not yet. But now he's gonna breathe. Something yes. Uh, he will use his poison breath. Coner line. Hit me. <laughs> Each creature. Uh, it's a cone. So let's go ahead, all three of you. Yeah. I choose the bell. So. Ah, you heal! <laughs> That's funny. Each creature that area must make a DC 16 Constitution saving throw. Boop. Uh. Da, 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 da. I. Hold on. I failed. At 11. I'm supposed to be able to. Thank you. Not anymore. <laughs> Uh, 20. You pass. Roll yours. Uh, 11. You fail. Why are you choosing the poison? It doesn't matter. I'm immune to poison. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I have a negative 2 to con. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Roll and see how bad you fail, too. And you're like choking, and then you're like, wait, no, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> he got a 3. Uh, everyone takes 30 points of poison damage. <laughs> Half down to 15. That should be a vicious mockery right there. And for me, too? 20? Uh, 15. You take 15. Okay, good. Wow, what are you at? Um, 32. I'm, this is the first time I've been hit as this game. You are also poisoned. Okay. It means that at the start of your turn, you're going to take some damage. Wait, no, no, it's the poison condition. Oh. So we're poisoned? He's poisoned, you're not. Oh, okay. That's a dan disadvantage on attacks. Oh, I thought yeah, it was you only take half damage and you're not poisoned. Oh, I'm immune to disease. Right, you're immune to disease. Yeah. You're immune to disease, disease. Poison. you're resistant to poison. Yeah. Alright. Pretty good. That's gonna, it for the dragon. You can lay on hands five points to get rid of that poison. Ardalon, you're up. You still have a long rest. Is... Have you, you used all your. You never used your lay on hands. Yes, yeah, he did. We were on the boat last time. Mm -hmm. uh, he used it to refresh my hit points. He occupies these four squares, right? You should probably give him a potion. Yes. I have a potion. He has the oh, nine, okay. 19 HP potion. Which I still see. Um, I'm actually going to close to melee. Woof. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Me? Yep. Yeah, that's that believe me. Uh, I got an 18. Nice. Okay, so you are able to... You are able to get within... The uh, melee range of and as the spikes of the body try to like kind of push you out of the oh. next one. Nice. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, my little sweetheart, Melodair, is going to stick her little horn into his lips. For a nat 20. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Roll damage. That's That does a lot of damage. Yeah. So, eight. Ma it did eight da uh, max damage. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen points of damage. Now it's bloody. 
Go, girl. And I'm going to swing twice at him. Okay. For a 18 at the lowest. Hits. Twelve points of damage. Uh, individually, it's five good, and eight. You're good. Don't go worry. Wait. Unless you're doing acid poison and thunder. No, you don't add your. Yeah, I do. I do because I have two other. Oh yeah. Two other fighting. Nine, yeah. seven, and oh, I did. How am I doing this? Four plus five. Yeah. No, it's twelve. Nine. Either way, it's twelve. Okay. Holy okay. shit, my brain fuck. Okay. All right. Anything else out of line? I'm gonna blow it a kiss. Jekyll, you're up. I am gonna make a big. He never does anything when I say anything. Inhaling that poison breath. Uh, <coughs> and uh, vicious mockery. That is a mockery. But that's a bonus act. Do an actual natural power. one. Oh yes. Is that like a crit? No. Uh, it does one damage. But he did damage on his next attack. Uh. Yeah, no, I don't really have, like, most of my stuff is concentration. Okay, and you're currently concentrating on, on holding Bane. up the Bane. Yeah. Yes. Bane is OP. So, what you could do is, like, Lamb, you're throw up. a rock or something. You know what I mean? I did my one damage. Uh, knockback of plus one air. Have you tried suggesting yet? No. Uh, but that's I also a concentration. 20. Oh, yeah, that hits. Bane is better. It now uh, has disadvantage on the next pass. It's always four. a debate between Bane, do we want to get hit, or Fairy Fire, do we want to hit them? Okay. Bane. Anything else, time? No, that is it. Come on. In Dungeons and Dragons, avoiding damage is way better than doing damage. Oh, yeah. I will, especially against a dragon that has uh, poison damage from a spike. Shrink the poison. Okay. That's your action. That's 19 HP. Unless you have your own greater healing. Now you need to multi-class for the second one. Just multi-class too. The problem is why that is an amazing multi-class. And it won't do I mean, anything great for him. No, no that's not true. Okay. If he, because he can take the fighting style defensive and get plus fail. AC. Yeah. And you have four damage. Ah, your vicious mockery is less. Well, mine was just that. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say to him? I kind of just laughed at the point. The Your poison. mom was a lizard. <laughs> uh, so, question: If there's, if he fails to do vicious mockery, do his next two attacks get disadvantage? He has to roll four d fours and take the lower, no. or four d twenties and take the lower. Man, that'd be that'd be broken. Uh, if disadvantage on damage stack. Yeah, that'd be crazy. Anything else counts? No, that's it for me. The dragon is a mom. Hey, look, Joe's character is right there. First attack at disadvantage. All right. Um, that is. Wait, did we skip you? No, no. no. Uh, that is. A uh, ten to hit. Ten misses. All right. And then because it missed, it did not hit my mirror image. Was that All right. the second attack? Should have knocked it out. Natural well, one no, misses. My attack. And um, the third attack, which is a claw attack, like the natural three. Wow. Oh wow! Oh. I have never felt like a blade singer before in my life. Let's see if he gets his breath weapon back. He does. Okay. All right. All right. Arlon, you're up. Uh, I am quite happy with that result. Yeah, it tries to bite you and claw at you twice, and it did nothing. Nothing. I feel really good. I also don't have that extra attack. Yeah. Well, I don't have extra attack either. I got to hit level six of the wizard, which is four more levels away. I don't have extra attack out of it. Yeah, you do. Oh, yes, my you do. God. Now I'm in level five. Oh, I was like, <laughs> Casey? <sighs> I'm just not dealing the damage that I should be. I can't remember a ton of names, so I call, whenever I gotta jokingly call someone by their first and middle name, right? I just use my wife's middle name, and that way I never forget hers. So it'd be like, Casey Lynn. All right, so That's I lovely. attacked twice. That's his white girl name. Yeah, <laughs> I uh, I whipped him twice <laughs> for a 23 yeah. and yeah. 24. Full yeah. I'm going to have to sneakily pull out the girlfriend's uh, and ID. Minimum damage. 10 points. Hey, 10 points is 10 points. Anyone yeah, else? I rolled two fucking ones. That sucks. Uh, I will then... You don't know your girlfriend's
Maria. How long have you been together? Two years. If you're banging she someone, she doesn't know my middle name. name. She didn't know my middle yeah, name. Yeah, but you have like four middle names. You're Hispanic. Yeah, but you only need Gabriel and Le- Enrique Lorenzo. It's Jose Jesus. Uh, you got one more damage. <laughs> Aw. Uh, 11. And this is. Anything else? You should be using that inspiration soon. I can't use the inspiration. Uh, I haven't had to. I realized I didn't give inspiration last round, uh, so I'm going to give it to Casey. Uh, I think there's a range of inspiration. 30 feet, I think. Yeah, maybe you're 60. way too far away. Um, and Is this a goblin? <laughs> Can I minor illusion it to look like <laughs> <laughs> As long as that minor illusion makes me think I got two extra points of damage. Uh, you think it, but it's not no, actually. Let's go get it. But I'll vicious mockery on top of the inspiration. Okay. That is a nine plus four. see the hang time on that d4? You rolled it, I was just staring at the table like, what? <laughs> Where'd it go? It like, it clung. It didn't want to land. Alrighty, anything else? Uh, nope. Okay. That disadvantage helped me, though. Because uh, Lamb, you're up. I've been going ham on my face. Can you get in the fight? I'm not good. Like, I still, I, you're the only person in the entire world, besides my dragon, the kobold, who I refer to as a dragon, respectfully. You're the only person I call by name, and you're just douching it up in this fight. <laughs> what are you talking about? I probably felt the most damage. I beg to differ. The paladin oh, yeah. has the most damage. <laughs> paladin's done the most damage. In one the second hit, most damage. And no, uh, my dragon has done more damage than I, I beg my to Karen. Differ. I heard it sprite the most. I took no damage from that breath. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but when it finally has to come to you because we've all died to poison, all I will have to do in its gold mouth. <laughs> it smack you one. I've dealt the most consistent damage. No, you that. haven't. Shoot it. Get in a fight. You're a fighter. Act like one. I am acting like one. God. You shave one creature's fur and it turns into a bitch. <laughs> Her natural armor. Is You're going to go back to uh, furry humans if you don't. You know, get your shit on point. What are you talking about? <laughs> Just roll it, roll it at 20, and then put him in his place. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Fine, you know what? I'll do it. Right now. It's not gonna work. It you hit! Worked. You hit, at least. <laughs> I knocked back a plus one arrow. That's okay. Uh, so... Two weapon fighting allows you to have the modifier to your offhand weapon. Yes. Uh, Archery style. Does that allow you to add the modifier to your second shot later on with the fighter? It should, right? Yes. Okay. Whenever you deal damage with the bow. With an arrow. Cool. Anything else? Because I just thought that would be super late for any ranged fighter with extra attacks. Like, what would be the point? 25. 30. You're going to flank him? Dexterity saving throw. Yes. Great. You have inspiration. You might not need it. That is a... uh, don't don't say it. Use the inspiration. Yeah, use it. It's better to use the inspiration. You don't need it to attack. You need it to get close. Oh, good. There you go. It's a natural 14 plus 22. eight. Yeah. You succeed. Good thing you rolled the inspiration. Yeah, before he even talked, because Just, otherwise, so inspiration you need to use before he tells you the result. True. So if you even question it, just use it. Yeah. Yep. And what are you doing? Um, I am going to split the poison damage, apparently. What a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I know why you moved there, you <laughs> metagaming <laughs> motherfucker. Hey, you spit at me. You know <laughs> are you going to shove it up his ass? <laughs> yeah, you are. Cut its tail off. I shove it up his ass. <laughs> Is that a nat 20? No. Oh. That was my intelligence to see if oh. I would do Oh, that. okay. And you have plus in your Texas who are flanking. Uh, it's a 
six plus nine. Fifteen. Fifteen. Plus two. Seven. No, he did the plus two. Yeah, I did that. Oh. That misses, unfortunately. Damn it, Casey. Try shoving your word. Yeah, no problem. Using mockery. mockery. Wing a cuss word right up his pooper. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you. <laughs> I was thinking that you were just going to scream out, you cunt! <laughs> no, whoa. Well, F-bombs are okay, but that one, that's too strong, man. There are going to be some kids to watch this stream. Right? Come on. And you think the F-bomb that's is... That's like when I refer to so you as being behind this island thing. Mexican. Do I see a penis? Make a perception check. This is not the dragon you want to seduce. That is a unnatural 20. There is a dog. I'm just curious. Vicarious. I just got excited. Exuding from this creature, you guys can no longer see as this sphere of darkness releases from darkness. it. Now we have disadvantage on the attack. He has magic. You can, actually cannot attack what you cannot see, and it is going to move. I'm flying away. You want a dark vision? Yeah. You want a dark vision? You need, like, double sides to keep the special dragon. Yes, you do. Ah! Ah? My dragon gets an attack of opportunity. Flying sight, 10 feet. Yes, it does. <laughs> Chris can kill this fucker. <laughs> I know! That's so good. Uh, 16. That is a miss. Come on! Sorry. That little miss. horn should have gotten in there. All right. Arlon, you're up. One, two, three, four. I want to roll a d4. I didn't. Five, ten, fifteen. Tell me when I can see the dragon. Because it is a sphere of darkness, right? Yeah, the darkness moved with it. Oh, so he I could, it on himself I don't have to. How big is the sphere? Like yeah, but I mean, I can it? I can go into the sphere. I have, I have two swings of disadvantage. I may get lucky. But I can see that the spear You cannot that swing at something you cannot see. You can swing in darkness. Darkness says you can't based, take a swing. Based on the rules and that I read, you cannot swing at something you cannot see. He's saying you need a target. Like if you, you, need you, a target if you were to, to bump and swing. into him, like you would know he's there and you could swing. So considering that he came towards me, would he have hit me? Flew over you. Okay. So you need to get within five feet of this fucker to actually see him. Yes. What I need to do is move into it because his spikes will try and push me back. So when I feel that know, happen, you'll know he's there and you can take the switch. And I can get to him. Make your dad work for this. Yeah, that's alright. I'll, <laughs> I'll take that shot. I'll see if I can, uh, what is it, a dex check to avoid being pushed back? Yeah. Does he push me back? Like 37 drops. Damn. Uh, I have advantage because I have the... Uh, no, I don't. It doesn't I matter. Have... If he pushes you back, you still have the... Oh, I still have a 10-foot range. Yeah. 7, uh, 11. Does he push me back? Yes, he does. You take 8 points of piercing damage as well. I will take that 8 points because that will allow me to swing twice at disadvantage. Natural 1, so that one's no good. Six. Don't tell me if I miss or not. Seventeen. Just barely hits. Perfect. Seven points of damage to him. You said it took eight piercing? Yes. And I now have him pinpointed as long as the spear doesn't hit. And I... will have... My dragon cast protection from evil and good, I believe. Um, you can move to the next person, and I'll let you know if I actually. Deckel, you're up. Should I drop Bane? Because I could cast Fairy Fire on him. Is it an aberration? To it's a dragon. Yes. Are dragons elemental? No. No. They're dragons. Dragons are dragons. Yeah, dragons are dragons. No, she's not going to cast that. Um. Uh, because this 
point, Fairy Fire is way better. So I'm going to cast Fairy Fire um, in this area. So you need to make a deck save. Yeah, what happens if I'm lit up? Uh, he gets an advantage on his deck. And I have Mirror Image. So I'll make the deck save. Oh, so I still have three Mirror Images. Uh, 17 to beat yours. All right. Now he has to bomb this deck save. Bomb it. It has Bane until the end of the cast of the spell. Yeah. Technically, yeah. Seventeen. Minus a d4. I rolled a natural fifteen minus two brings it to thirteen plus four is a seventeen. And, and you just Bane Bane. is gone. Yeah. Uh, in that case, I'm going to dive into the gold. As you dive into the gold, there's nothing there. Oh, it's all on the wings. Hey, it was still worth staying because my red mage would be really good if everything goes to shit. <laughs> um, but looking around, there is one item there that you can't quite make out the full... What is it? Oh, cool. Uh, cool. I'm going to move towards that because okay. I've got 30 feet of movement. Okay. And you pick it up. So wait for this damn shield to do something, otherwise it's just a money shield. That's exactly what it is. It's almost like it needs attunement. Yeah, but the problem is, all right. Even if this is the coolest shield on earth, the shield's got to be given. Lamb, you're up. We got to continue. That's what the right. Uh, I'm gonna mark back a arrow. I'm gonna imbue it with a fit, or divination magic, and I'm gonna say, seek out my target. See, no yeah. one here except for him. what's. What does Sigmund Arrow actually shield. do? Monks can't do it. Bards it, can't do it. The, uh, if I saw a creature within my the last can do it, minute, but the blade I can use the Sigmund Arrow. The it will find the target, and if it hits, if if the creature fails the save, then I know exactly where it is at all times, as long as it's on the plane. If not, then it just takes half damage. So it either hits or it's passage or it's Seeking arrow is good. Um, arcane archers are just good. Are you reading into it? Mm-hmm. Oh. What college did you pick? Four. Good. Yeah, okay, cool. So you have. That's a fail. Nice. Well, ten. Seventeen points of damage. How do you want to do this? Uh, yes! Yeah! Yes! Yeah! Had, four, had fifteen hit points left. Oh! My wife is asleep upstairs. Oh my bad. Sorry. We killed a dragon. That's the first time in our campaign. Yeah. We killed a dragon. I don't care if it's I'm not gonna... one of the big ones. We still killed a dragon. I'm very sorry about that. That was just. I'm gonna get air five. Air, everybody, come in, come in, real five. <laughs> Boom! We kill the dragon. I'm gonna get on one knee, kind of close both my eyes and like whisper to the arrow, seek out my target. Do not fail me. As it flies out, it's gonna whiz past your your ear. Actually, do you have any earrings? You know what? I do now. It passes it's right just through gonna my go right gauge. Your ears. It passes right through my giant zero gauges. You all hear this thunk as this arrow. You think find his target, and the next thing you know, you see a dead dragon on the ground, and the darkness is gone. Just with it sticking out of its head like a... I gotta be honest with you. It's dawn. I have to be honest with you. I don't know if I want to return this corpse just for a potion, for two potions. I may want... I mean, I think maybe we should take it with us and always have it somewhere. If it's strung up a workhorse. Don't care. We'll... No, 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 no. We're not gonna fight them over it, remember? Yeah. If we give them the corpse, they give us two potions. If we don't give them the corpse, they won't give us the potions. Wait, they already gave us the potions. No, they didn't. No. We didn't. They, they, yeah, they, they gave you the potions. Yeah, they gave When you agreed to purpose. it, they gave you the potions. Oh, well, then we'll give them back. We haven't used them. Yeah, we'll, we'll give them back. the potions back. Yeah, because we can, uh, we got it. I mean, it's a giant corpse. We got a couple weeks. Maybe we could even give the shaman gold to gentle repose it. And we'll just have gentle repose recast on the dragon over and over. Sweet. Um. The item you find is a small chess piece rook. Yeah. Oh no, it's just. Oh no. What's your.
what you find. Want me to identify it? Yeah. <laughs> identify it. Um, this item is called what is it? Tomastia's Rook. Is that the thing that creates a castle? It's an enchanted chess piece made of solid stone. It's surprisingly heavy, a good 10 pounds, all its own, no more than 3 inches in height. You couldn't even pick it up. By, <laughs> no, my by, strength is fine. By placing the rook on the ground and saying the elven word for shelter, Tomastia's rook grows to become a two-story tall stone tower. The tower will only grow to two stories if it has room to do so. Otherwise, it will remain one story, but again, there's, there's only, it only if there's room to accommodate it. Inside, the second story is accessible only by ladder. There's an average-sized chest inside which can store items. At noon, the, the day following being summoned, the tower will revert to a rook once more. At that time, any being or item not stored in the chest will find themselves ejected out, out the front door before transform. Transform the rook back to the size of the chest piece on their own. Before the time is up, you must only speak the name Renix. The shelter and Renix. I'm not saying those. I'm saying yeah. those to you right now. Yep. Okay. And Elvin. You're the only one that knows Elvin. I am the only one that knows uh, Elvin. You found true. it. Oh. oh, okay. You found it, but if I keep <laughs> it, I can maintain a permanent camping. Sure. Okay. I will... That one's going down my pants, man. I have a little pouch sewn in right above my dog. It's dome. a two-story dog. <laughs> yeah. That accident. I got it. Now I have a ten-foot... Or now I have a ten-pound rock yeah, protecting my... three inches. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I've, nothing has changed. <laughs> that is awesome. It's actually only three inches. I was going to actually write that on my character sheet, not the party list. That's at the okay. uh, the image of uh, the stat can you block. Look at oh, the shield? Shield? oh, hey, so that's, this is awesome. That's the stat block for it. I sent it to everybody. Everyone has it. I don't know who Claire Duloc is, but I want to bone her. I mean, anyway. Oh, you're ridiculous. I will. That is awesome. We we now have the, uh, it's maybe not as good as a fortress. Also, it's two stories. We're going to have to post guards still. Does the tower have windows? Yes. Okay. Okay. What about the shield? Can I cast identify on the shield? Yeah. Wait, hold on. Can I cast identify on the shield? Yeah. No, I mean like double no. check to see if he is a spell. Yeah, I do. I can. Yeah. Um, so you cast identify the shield, and it doesn't work. Okay. Can I gather enough with knowledge arcana to make sure that this isn't actually a magical shield, and we're not going to take the wrong thing back to the lake. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Is there anything else in this room? Can we do an investigation? Yeah, make an investigation check. Nat 20, so 27. Yeah, that's all that's here. And with that nat 20, you are able to tell that this is an obvious illusion of gold. Okay. I mean, I could have told you that. I walked yeah. out from the inside of it. Yeah, but the illusion is still there even though the dragon's dead. Um, the illusion is still there even though the dragon's dead. Can I figure out in any way whatsoever, if the dragon is here just because the dragon thought it had gold. You make an arcana check. Oh, okay. I'm actually not right with that. But I only get 12. Okay. Um, you get the illusion that, you get the, the thought that the illusion was meant to keep the dragon in this place. Ah, uh, to protect maybe the rook. Potentially. Or to protect the shield and the gem. The shield and the gem. Um... So, I'll, I'll pick up the shield and attend to it. No. Will you allow? No. Let's you can't attend to it. What? You can't attend to it. Let's just see what it does. Well, no, because we got to give it back. Well, yeah, but let's just see what it does. It could be cursed. Hey, the last time you picked up a magic item, now you're a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> so my character wouldn't know that. <laughs> I don't know that. Um, let him attend to it. Sure. We're going to take our long rest here. We should at this point. Yes. Is it late enough? Can we finally long rest? You guys can long rest. Should we long rest here or should I we go back? I want to go back to the rat people. Yeah, he made me scared. Let's take the <laughs> back to the rat people. No, I just excited for the long rest now. Really? Yeah. Okay. Right, so either no matter where we long rest, you're gonna. No, no matter where you long rest, I'm excited for it. Okay. Let's so long might, right as, might as well do this in the rat pe with the rat people though. Uh, we're, we're bringing. The hey, course, because right? if all those rat people die, that's experience. <laughs> Milestones. Damn it. If all those rat people die, that's a lot of loot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so make your way back to the rat people. I want okay. to I will string this guy on my on my back and just kind of walk dragging it. The whole 
dragon? Yes. Yeah. We are bringing the dragon. We will do whatever it takes. Uh, we have an enhanced ability. We've got everything. We'll figure it out. Okay. But I um, immediately give the potions back to the shaman. I explain that. We didn't realize that. As you one. get in there, yeah. and the rats see you dragging this creature, they all let out this cheer. Oh, God. And the shaman comes over and says, oh, Very good. Just put the body over by the, the metal creature we have hanging up. I will, uh, well, I'll let you do it, if you're the talker, if you're the face. Uh, so where do you want to lead the way? Hold on. Shh. So, we ended up not using your potions, so we wanted to give them back to you. Um, plus ninety. Plus ninety gold for the inconvenience. Yeah, okay, plus ninety gold for the inconvenience of not having those. Um... Why are you already raising the goal like this is a done thing? Because and and we like it to is done thing. Uh, done thing. store the dragon's corpse here uh, for our later use. Oh, are we are we going to be using the meat? Like they can have the meat, but we just need the parts. So they can. We will allow them to gut it like a deer from yeah. the abdomen, right? It's so we want like the adjust. skeleton and the shell. We want it to yeah, stay. Yeah. So like. You know, so we could tax a Germany. You guys uh, can have the meat. Um, I'm assuming that's what you want. Uh, and we can work. We can neg negotiate later for maybe some bone, skin. How about we just give them the ninety gold to tax a Germany with gentle repose or whatever? Yeah. And uh, but we'd like to save some supplies at the very least for ourselves. The shaman says, "How about we let you live and you honor our deal." I like that idea. We got a really cool red mage. <laughs> Seriously, looking at the shield. Walking backwards towards the shield. Well, whatever. That sucks. I buy with potions. Yeah, it kind of blows. I've got charm for this one. They know that they've been charmed, and then the entire city will come after us. We're not going to worth it. Did you guys tell us? No. That's all no, no. Nobody here knows Fireball. <clears throat> Which would take out a lot of rap. <laughs> 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 now, how yeah. much metal is there? Oh, wait, no. Heat metal only works on three elements, right? Yeah. Plus, uh, it can't be a... Like, you can't heat metal the uh, war forge. It can't, it well, I know, but I'm saying, like, they're all holding weapons. Like, heat metal all the weapons. I think the shaman is holding a probably magical staff. Yeah, Man, so, staff. all right. Do we just give up the dragon? Yeah, we give up the dragon. We gotta add plus room, though. Well, that's a long rest. Your channel divinity, uh, yeah. Now, if we long rest, we just long rest, but we give up the dragon corpse. So let's just do it. Let's. We'll tell them, okay, fine, we really want to just give you back the potions, but can you at least let us sleep here for the I almost said long rest here. Can you at least let us sleep here for the night for free? Of course. We did just take care of what I assume is a menace. Yeah, give it to me. Take care. What's that problem? Uh, do you need us to accommodate you? No, yes, but please. as long as you can promise that you give us a, a room or something off to the side. No, no, not even. I'm okay. Hungry. But we don't want them to bother us in the night. Okay, they won't. Liam in tiny hut? Yep. Liam in tiny hut! That only lasts for an hour. No. No. It's eight hours. It's eight hours. Liam in tiny hut. It was it's made for a long rest. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Mine was made for the short rest. The rope trip. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are you doing the castle too, or no? Just the no. Uh, okay. We're keeping. We're not saying anything about anything. So they bring you to a room, and it's what you would expect for rat people. No, we're gonna. Can we cast Liam in tiny hut in a room? Why not? I don't know. Yeah, it's well, ten foot radius. So. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna basically make an impregnable little. Yeah. Okay. So, um, as you guys rest for the night. You're level five. You guys level six. I feel really quite cramped in this place. Yeah. <laughs> what? No, you're being fine. very cramped. Yeah. So long rest. Okay. Let me wizard it up. What's uh? The average on a ten? Six. So that would average. Oh no, plus 
So that's plus nine. Plus sixteen, so twenty-two. At least I've got uh, extra attack. Yeah, two arrows. Ooh. And I'm pretty sure I get a new arrow feature. Um, as you guys are long resting and you attune to the shield, I need a wisdom saving throw from you, Aaron. 13. 13? Okay. Um, you feel no effects from the shield as if it's not even magic. Okay. Oh, this is bullshit. I don't get a third option. What? I don't get a third magic option until level seven. Oh, that sucks shit. <laughs> God. Ugh. Um, Not only that, ugh. the shield is garbage too. Yeah, that's true. As you Spank. guys wake up in the morning, you see that Ardalan is totally and completely encased in this white web-like substance. Almost like a cocoon. Oh, it's got to be your daughter. I am the the dragon and Sun Wukong, or Sun Wukong is not the next one. The dragon is outside of you, buddy. Does she seem? I, I I look at her and say, "Hey, what's going on?" There's no response. She is pacing around the room. I will say in Draconic, "What has happened to your father?" Says the one. Uh, I think it's your speech celestial in common. But I it's also, also still an infant, so yeah, there's no response. Um, well. You know, come here. Uh, you know, I'll hold you while he's in the thing. Well, uh, how about we cut him out? Because I did know. No, I could hurt him. Uh, Jekyll and Lamb, I would have been more free with, like around um, Melodare. So it'll be up to you if Melodare actually goes to Jekyll or Lamb. Or Lamb. Nope. She might be just straight out panicky. Could I try opening? Do I know what? Do I have any? You have no clue. If, but am I aware? Am no. I? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm and I didn't reach summon Sun Wukong, so he can't talk to me, and you guys can't talk to him. Oh, that's correct. Now I know why you were asking me if I could, if I wanted to do anything else. Look. Action surge. Are you shitting me? <laughs> I wasn't going to give it away. <laughs> That's why I was asking though. I was like, why are you asking me about my bonus action? I can't do nothing on my bonus did action. You, did you message him then? I don't no, know. I uh, just, I've been waiting literally for, for him to figure out, you know. I've never played, well, i played a fighter once, but I've never really used his shit. What do you mean? The only reason people dip into fighter for two levels is action surge. It's probably the best ability in the game. It really is. The whole it was the... Uh, uh, about this time, the hot flame wears out, and Arlan is still in this, for the lack of a better word, cocoon. Just carry me. I'm only guessing, but just carry me. I'm going to put my... Oh, God, feet. I love toughness. Yeah. I love toughness. I'm going to put my lamb ears uh, against his head. Great weapon fighting. And try to decide to hit plus Make 10 damage. damage. It's, I mean, you have the great weapon no. fighting style. Reroll two. It's a five. And great weapon you master is the name of that feat. You want that. If you're going to be swinging a two-handed weapon, you want great weapon master. And that the is... only other thing after that is full arm master. Well, don't take full arm master because you have to use a big sword. Yeah. I don't know what to do in this situation. Just carry me. And whenever I hit a critical hit. Or reduce something to zero, I can swing. You get another extra swing. A great weapon master. Great weapon weapon master is nice. Well, just in case, I will test 
how tough the cocoon is by taking out my sword and just touching it. Make an attack roll. No, not an attack roll. Eleven. Your sword bounces off the cocoon. I'm actually not panicked for this. I'm a little worried, but like I have hopes for what it could be. The only thing that is slightly scary is that uh, Melodare is worried. I'm going to scream out, Rat people, we need help! Uh, a little rattling comes in and says, It's okay, this is us. Hey, face! Who? The no. one who has no clue about the real world is interfering with my cocoon. I don't know what's going on here. I'm pretty uh, sure it, it's fine. that he's not a butterfly. No, that's what that's what humans do when when they uh, go to sleep. I have a feeling that's not how, what they do. That is what they do. It could, but like I'm wearing that butterfly belt. You, I'm I've hopeful. seen him go to sleep. I'm just let it let it play out. I want to find out what twice going on. he's gonna get it's wings. Either my tattoo. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Yeah. If I have butterfly wings, that's the only reason. Yeah, but if anything touches you, you lose scales and then you just die. Yeah. Uh, but no, that is what humans do. What if I can do things like Kumpu powder? I, like I've butter literally seen What if I become butter? Go to sleep twice. This is not true. No, 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 no. It's not He'll like, carry me. It's fine. It, it's not like an e everyday thing. But eventually, this does happen. This is how we evolve. It's, it's called a wet dream. Okay. It is a lot of white stuff. I'm telling you that that is the case. It would be about on par for me. You know, out of. Wait, I mean. Right, we're just going to drag him out, I guess. No, 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 you're not going to drag me. My buddy's going to carry me and put me down when he has to fight. So you're going to drag him. <laughs> Casey Lynn. Hey, hey, carry him. Suggestion. All right, I carry him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, buddy. <laughs> I don't want you to damage my cocoon. That is so cool. And I'll carry the dog. Dog? Daughter. Daughter. Okay. What do you guys want to do? Uh, I don't know, but I feel so like I just want to hang out in the cocoon. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> Did you get anything out of the shield? No, it's just there. It's installed my back. I'm attuned to it. Nothing magic about it. Doesn't do anything. Well, yeah, we should sell that. Well, no, we gotta give it back. I know. I have I no say because like, I don't know what you're talking about. Legendary. <laughs> All right. Wait for it. Legend, or no, it's legend. Wait, wait for, for it. Dairy. dairy. Again, no, uh, I could totally I'm gonna lead the way out. back to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lead the way back to the water. Okay. At least he knows what dairy is. So, <laughs> so four and three. You leave this area. You head back, back past that sarcophagus. We're gonna look in the various rooms. We said we were gonna do that. So okay. we are. Yeah. Um, so you go to the. The, the across the way to the hall, the next hallway, um, but goes down about forty feet before it ends abruptly. Uh, um, we don't have our eyes, so we're gonna have to leave. Looking for a door. <laughs> oh yeah, Ooh. I'm the investigator. Last time it just pushed open, so I'm gonna first. I'm gonna try. Can to you go to the very end and just push open the door? Yeah. Make it a dirty safe control, please. You fall forty feet into a fight trap. Hey, <laughs> that's really bad for you. Is that 46? Nine points. Daughter with me. <laughs> <laughs> She's got wings. She's fine. Nine points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And six points of piercing damage. Wow, that was a lot less than what you took. I, yeah. rolled, I rolled two ones. Yeah, <laughs> because when he falls, I don't care about physics. He's made out of platinum. He goes, boom. I go, boom. Um, <laughs> you can try and climb back out? Yeah, I'm going to try that. Athletic check. Tell you what though, that dragon taught me to take the spell web. Fifteen. Web is really good. Fifteen? Yeah. You're able to climb out. Okay. Um if you get the idea that this is just a dead end with a pitfall trap. Okay. Ouch. Blur is okay, but that's it. Miriam and I think it's just better. There's so many more ability score improvements in fighter than any other class. Yeah, they yeah. have three more. Yeah, which is really nice. 
It, they're based around the old fighter from 3.0 and 3.5 that got beat uh, twice as much as any other class. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I got. So you turn around, head back out of this dead end, heading right to where the first pitfall trap was, and you notice that it is covered back up. You, knowing where it is, you guys skirt around it. Uh, well, jump over it, no problem. Um, then you head into the second last room on the right. Um, as you enter this room, all that you see on the ground is just nothing but cobblestone. Mm-hmm. You go first. No, it's just a roadway. I'll walk out there. Hmm? It's, it's just a road. Yeah, that's just a roadway. I literally don't trust our intent due to the fact that every time we've walked into a dead end, we've either found a rat colony or fallen down a hole. This, this is well, a very you, large room. But yeah, you can't, so um, we can't metagame just because he's throwing a lot of traps. Well, so no, you I'm in. not metagaming. With a 15 intelligence, I would know that I'm scared of everything. Bench bear? Bench bear. Just because everything wants to eat you. That's exactly another point. I'm a lamb. I'm not brave. Was that something for me, Lion? Uh, make a dexterity saving throw for me, please. Oh, yeah. That's a nuts play. Okay. Um, as you walk in, um, the stone just seems to start to move and swarm, and they try to knock you over, but you 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 are able to keep your footing. Um, I need everyone to roll initiative as you guys encounter a cobblestone. Cobblestone? Cobble Swarm. I love it. you just thrown in new monsters. I love new monsters. And this has been planned for a while, actually. So, I mean, if you, do, if you don't like the dragon, I'll take back my loot. No, no, no. That was actually... We killed the dragon, guys. You didn't dick with the rolls or anything? Like, flat the, out? The only thing I dicked with was I made it do less breath weapon damage. I still got it. By 5d6. Oh, Oh, still got it. (laughs) That would have put me down. Yeah. But it's... He was geared for six people, so I had to tone him down a little bit for you guys. But not a big deal. Alright. And, like, missing those three attacks in a row on you really sucked. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I'm a different opinion of that. Because you're a brand new friend. No, 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 no. no. You I'm succeed. okay. Well, I, I do, except where it interferes with my success. All right, 25, 20? I'll do it, too. I assume I don't need to roll at all. 23. Oh, 21. 18. 18. Okay. Should I roll? No. Okay. You are in a cocoon. You ain't doing nothing. Doesn't Jesus tell you to be selfless, you monster? I'm really selfless. All right, Jekyll, what would you like to do? Other than all those times where you're selfish. All right. Mm-hmm. And... Going to cast Blur, or not Blur, Haste on uh, Pinky. Okay. And then Vicious Mockery Swap. Okay. That was a natural one. So they're going to take four damage. Okay. That's it. Sounds good. Uh, Liam, you're up. Um, I'm just going to try shooting at them with my bow. Make a tackle. Regular style. Ten? Misses. Lambert. Lambert, the friendly lion. That's my, uh, wait, I've got an extra attack. Um, wait, I have action. 21. That hits. That's going to be 10 points of piercing. Doesn't do as much damage as you were hoping. Oh, I mean, I I already figured that, (laughs) considering they're stoned. All right. Uh, next up is Scamos. Um, is it just 
one cobblestone giant, or no, it's is one. It's a bunch of what you thought were stones seem to be sentient creatures of some sort. The way swarms work in D and D, and it's it's funny because it's not it's not reality, right? As you do more damage to the swarm, in this case, cobblestones may fall like a rat swarm. As you hit and do damage, you're basically killing rats with your points of damage until there's not enough to maintain the swarm, and so you lose that. You know what I mean? So as you swing your sword wildly, if you do five damage, you may knock five rocks out of the air. Yeah. Usually, like, what happens is as the swarm is slowly getting defeated, then um, their damage is usually lessened. Okay. Usually at about half the force. I go start swinging. Alright. At the rocks. With a natural 20. Okay, roll damage. So how much was your first one? Uh, 26. And I swing again, because that hits me. Okay. It's dead. It's still alive. With another natural 20. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> Sweet. That was very good. That was uh, a good encounter. Looking around the rest of this room, there is nothing else. Is there still some cobbles alive? Oh, can you have a pet cobble? I want to throw them at people. Well, you should have it. Well, you, you should, should throw a rock or something, so I figured I'd throw a cobble. You should call it Colby. Or Cobby. Guys, if I was awake right now, I would be collecting yet another Pokemon. I think you're good. Um, so we leave this room and go towards the left. Last passageway? Yeah. Last passageway just leads to a dead end. Yeah, let's just go back. That's fine. Let's go find the wrong way. Investigation. Yeah. Yes, there's some first. Uh, 22. Uh, nothing. Spence? Nope. Yeah, let's get out of here. <clears throat> Some guy. As you guys go to leave, back to your boat, where the two tabacs are waiting for you guys, um, Let's call it there because I'm tired and I gotta be to work at 5 a.m. Okay. What's happening with my cocoon? You don't know. You're turning into a butterfly. No clue. I'm so glad that you didn't die while I was a cocoon fighting some cobblestones. <laughs> Decades later. Are you later. kidding me? Uh, K- Casey uh, hates it. Well, I was about you guys to go there first and then, you know, but you guys want to keep going all the way. So that's all right. I mean, Casey would have had four attacks on it because of the crit. Yeah. Well, I can only. I'm really doing it. It would have only been three.